Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, to the Frostpunk 2 beta. Now officially starting with the Utopian Builder preview. We have four maps, okay? We got the Gorge, the Horizon, uh, Broken Shores, and the Windswept Peaks. Again, for the people that just joined it or missed it, you have to buy the Deluxe Edition <laughs> to play the beta. So think twice about it. I mean, again, you can still play it for two hours and then refund if you don't like it. That's possible. Yeah, that's possible with the beta. Mm, we can only play colonization. There's three more scenarios. And colonization is going to be food colony, fuel, and so on. And we have three factions. The machinists, the workers, and we have lords and thinkers. I'm, I'm probably going to go with the machinists and foragers because I want to see what kind of mechanical inventions we're coming on with. And we're going to keep the... Oh, disabling support tutorials and we're going to start medium difficulty <sighs> jumping jumping in let's see what what the game got for us press space to begin Yavoy, ladies and gentlemen the end of the world changed changes people it changed us the foragers natural survivalist adapted to harsh frosting conditions the machinist descendants of groups that build the initial cities and maintain the machinery we choose you as our steward to lead the city Okay. City must not fall. I like the intro. As if as if you get like a Netflix show starting. Okay, coal is running out. We have grown numerous over the years and waited too long to strike out. Our coal stockpiles are nearly depleted. We have to colonize the frostland. But first we located some coal deposits in rough terrain around the city. We must send frost-breaking crews to access them. Okay, step one. Let's stop the timer. Step two. This is our city. The generator is outputting. We can't really select singular things in this city right now, correct? So we just have this be as it is. Right? We just have it. We're, we're calling. Okay, we got a blinker here. Frost-break new area. So we get the construction workforce, 40 heat stems, requirement 300 workforce. When we get our workforce up here, heat stems, we got 850, right? We're making, we have shelter and we don't have all the shelter. We have some food and we get things. Okay, but where's the coal? That is... I mean, we get a frost breaker, but I need to find coal deposits. It said coal. Is this this coal? Right, shallow coal deposit here. See, this is what I need. Correct. Okay, frost breaker. And how do I send you out? I'm trying to. No. I mean, let's start the the thingy. I'm trying to like I have the frost breaking. Uh frost breaking here. One, two, three. Correct? Did I frost break that now? And and that's ta-da. Are they they sending the frost breakers out now? No. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. I did this. Access the coal deposit using frost breakers. Construct an extraction construct an extraction district. I mean I, I selected this. One, two, three. But I'm kind of missing the point where I could. One, two, three, right? So, what if I need to select some more? Oh, we probably need to select the full package, right? So, wait until we have. Ah, we need to fill out the circle. I see. You're right. Oh, now they're coming. But it feels kind of bad because why would I frost break all of this free if I just literally want to get this? Okay, heat stamps. 
Heat stems are stockpiled resource that can be spent on frost breaking, constructing districts or building when using specific actions. Okay. Heat stamp income can be increased by satisfying good demands. Working on it. When well, we need to construct an extraction district on a coal deposit. So I got construct buildings and this is a... Uh, requires food, stockpile capacity, this industrial extraction. Food, housing. And we got, oh wow, construct districts and hub, industrial extraction district. So this is a, like six areas to construct the district. Ah. So we get a wait for the frost breaker to essentially finish the frost breaking. And that's why you have to frost break more, right? We have to fill the circle because now we have the whole thing broken. The whole ice is gone and we can start building one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is connected to the main city. That actually looks epic. Look at this. We get the, we get the tiny road. It's connecting the whole district. I kind of miss like building the tiny things, construct an extraction district where we're doing that. Um, I, I kind of miss by building the tiny um, cities and towns, right? Because that's what you usually do. Okay, we need a food deposit, but we have food. Right now we need more housing, as it seems. We got heat. We got workforce. And we're still making things. But we need goods is limited. They want more goods. We'll see. Let, let's let's follow the thing they tell us to do at this point, right? So we learn about this. The whole district is being built. We could speed up time a little bit. Let's see where this is going. I mean, damn, 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 does the game look beautiful again? I'm very happy about that. You up the game sound? There's not much game sound going on. We secured a new source of coal for the generator, but we need shelter. Without it, people will still freeze to death, regardless how hot the generator runs. Closer to the generator or other shelter, to the generator or other shelter, the better. We cannot afford to lose more heat than we have. Okay. Use warms from central district or another housing by constructing housing in close proximity. Okay, so we want to build... That's frost break, construct buildings. This was food, this is housing. But I only have the, just this. This is output, stockpile capacity. Fuel depot, goods depot, material depot. So these are just depots, right? I can't actually choose other things here yet. Uh, but I can add housing here, correct? Test requirement 600 workforce. Empty building slot. Off shift, emergency shift. Expand the district. Send the district to increase outputs and provide one more building slot. I mean, right now I cannot put anything into that building slot though. I was expecting to actually put something into the building slot, but I can't, you know? So there is actually not much game sound happening right now, in case you wonder. Okay, we need air transport hub, food district, industrial di housing district. Okay, so the housing district needs. Wait, that is that hot or is that bad? I mean, that's red. This is blue, right? I mean, generator proximity plus five heat, and here it says extraction smog. Ah, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We built more housing like this. I'm going to get used to that. This is the Machinist community. They are neutral to me. And the foragers are neutral to me as well. Increased by notable cold. Margin increased by minor disease. Okay. So t we have tension building up, guys. They're th this is the tolerated city trust. I need more trust. Okay, I need I need the city to put more trust in me. I don't like this. Construct two housing districts. Okay, we need two housing districts. So I'm gonna build another housing district, and this one is gonna be 
One, two, three, four, five. Um, six. same. And this is growing. I think you you hear the game sound, correct? Again, there's there's just not much game sound going on. What what improvements regarding game you see now in the game? Well, not much. We just started a few seconds ago. So the building is completely different. I mean, you obviously, instead of building tiny towns, you build full districts. Uh, they have demands. Security for the future. Stockpiling. Stuart, we are extracting more coal than we currently need to provide adequate heat to the city. As such, we have to again stockpile the surplus. At the moment, we have ample storage space left. However, the space will eventually be filled. Okay. Um, that means I need to... Like, the, the game is more now about micromanaging the whole... Woods depot, probably, right? Fuel depot. No, fuel depot. That's going to be stockpiling. Yep. Ta-da. So you're more managing a bigger city, right? You have a bigger city asking you for demands. It's more a sim city builder. Then it's now like you have, you start from zero. You're not starting from zero. You're starting from city, right? And you're not anymore influencing tiny buildings at the beginning right you can't build a single building you're still bu you're, you're building a complete district straight away at least here maybe the story mode will be a bit different we don't know yet okay so housing everyone is happy with heat from the generator and shelter for everyone we're safe from the cold now but as the city grows it will not be enough the machinists and forgers have different opinions on how to improve the city further we need to place we need a place to develop ideas for the future expand a housing district to provide more space for advanced buildings and build a research institute okay select an existing housing district and expand it let's see we're gonna take this one uh we're gonna take this one and how do we expand it expand the district ah okay so there's still one two three so you can expand this build a research institute and research coal mines okay we got housing that is the research institute and the research institute needs to be built oh i think it needs to be built into the housing district so we need to wait for the housing district to essentially be done at least that's what it feels like right uh this is facility dedicated to coming up with technology and soci sociological solutions and i can't like just put it in here right doesn't want to go in there doesn't want to go in there so I'll probably have to wait for this housing district to expand to build it. This is the survival mode. Yes, the survival mode is the only mode available in the beta. I uh, see like this is what I was talking about. Now I can build it inside the district. So I got to wait for the district to essentially exist. So I can build it in there. I mean, that's like the same thingy with the research as it has been before. We're stockpiling here. Looming cold. As the cold problem in our city continues to worsen, we must take action to protect our citizen. In these harsh conditions, people need a roof over their heads and enough heat to warm their homes. Is the generator powerful enough to heat the city? Yes, it is. I mean, we have the cold under control, don't we? We have fuel, right? We're extracting total output 120. So we're extracting 120 coal. We're actually stockpiling coal because we're taking... Uh, we're spending 20 a day, but we're getting 140 a day, correct? No, we get 120 a day, yes, and we we 20 from the stock output. I'll put, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're, we're, we're good, I guess. But I could expand this district too. I mean, I have the heat stems to get more heat, uh, to get more coal. See, now I'm getting 140. Uh, I, get, I get more coal out of this. Okay, let's wait, build and research institute, research coal mine. Oh, and then I can put the coal mines into the... Ah. Uh, so we get the dense housing district, but I didn't want this. I want to have the research institute is active, as you can see. But where's my... Ah, my research is down here. Okay, idea tree. We need ideas to move forward. And you have like this idea tree right now. So we can do hot houses. We remember hot houses, right, Chad? They, they grow food. Uh, we have the coal mines here, sawmills, generator upgrade, and we got autonomous heater. 
Then there's economy upgrades too. So we get a housing blocks. That would be... Um, how can we best house a large number of citizens? Okay, then with famine prevention. There, there's a lot in this skill tree. A lot is blocked as well, right? And then you have society upgrades too, like hospitals, watchtowers, weapons, uh, to make people happy. So you can see that the, the skill tree is relatively deep and there's there's space, right? A lot of space. Uh, survival. Mm. Well, we are supposed to search for coal mines, right? Okay, so we get two choices though. Um, we can make two factions happy. So we can do the grinding coal mine. Requires an extraction district with a coal deposit. That would be the machinist. And what are we getting then? Then we get uh, more coal output. Squalor is increased. The fields, grime, and pollution present in the city. Oh, it's increased with this. Okay. And if we go for the dust coal mine, then disease is slightly increased. Ah, so I want to have like the machinist are less happy with me than the foragers. So I guess I'm going to go with the idea from the machinists. See about that. If that's the right choice. Okay, so we have expanded this. We're now outputting 150, which is good. And we get 417 weeks of coal remaining. And we get the coal mine. This one is stockpiling stuff. Different ideas. A small crowd gathers outside of the new research institute, arguing how to exploit the last coal veins. This is, by the way, what's happening in the game. This is like where this is going. There is a lot of um, decisions, a lot of talk, politics, essentially managing the growing community, right? Show me the options. Oh, we have geothermal plants. Ah, yeah, we had the coal mines, and I actually decided to go with the, with the, uh, this one. So, but, you know, there's a growing discontent in the city. You got to make sure that the people actually do like you, right? Because else, like, there, there could be just riots breaking out. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's one of those walkers. See, like, usually you would have to get one of these walkers, handish build. And now they are just standard of the whole production, right? This is vastly more technological advanced. 26 people have recovered and returned to work in the city. Thank you very much. I mean, my workforce is ginormous at this point. We have 3,300 overall uh, available, right? Uh, everyone is housed. So wait, no. Yeah, we have a surplus of 14 housing, correct? We have demand fulfilled and 14 bonus. So we can actually get more people in. Our food is going good, but how are we even making food? This is kind of like what I'm missing. How are we even making food at the point, right? And the goods are limited currently, so the people are not happy, actually, because they're not getting enough goods. Is our stockpile growing? or Our stockpile is shrinking. Oh, no! Our stockpile is shrinking! We need these coal mines! Are they researched yet? I mean, seriously, the, the like... I, I thought we're doing good, Chan, but I just noticed how our coal stockpile is getting smaller, not bigger. Well, we could upgrade the district to be bigger, but we're, we're not going to do that right now. Okay, we can't do any more food or anything. I mean, we could send the Frostbreakers out to essentially uh, get all these resources, I guess. Whatever for. I mean, this is frozen materials, frozen materials, frozen materials, so... We need it. We could just send the frost breakers. We have enough heat stamps to do this. Uh, there is iron ore and there's an old waste station. Oh, huh. well, that would be taking a lot of frost breaking to actually go for. Okay, let's see that the research is done. Four days left. And then we can build a coal mine. So right now I was fearing that this whole process of macro managing and not going for the really deep like super micro managing and everything would feel a bit bad we'll see <laughs> true man thank you very much i'm happy you enjoyed the necro videos let's hope i can show you a cool new game here with frostpunk 2 beta hello nafris also if you have any questions feel free to ask that's what we're there for i'm trying to experience the game now we're gonna build a grinding coal mine which essentially is going to increase our output even further, right? We're going to put this out. 
our workforce was 3,300. It's down to 3,000 now. So we have 300 workers working in that ginormous coal mine. Get that done. Construct the newly researched building in an extraction site. Doing that. We can do another research, but before I do another research, I guess I'll wait for a second. Okay. Place to settle differences. With a new mine, we have enough coal output to last us a while. Yet differences between communities remain. Even under the previous leader, plans have existed to establish a council to settle such differences. Okay, we need a council. Build the council hall in the central district. Central. Council hall. There we go. Kind of like building these buildings inside buildings. Uh, we could build an advanced coal mines, filtration towers, or hothouses. Hothouses are going to be... Industrial-sized hothouses where are gigantic waste fermented in large vats, fertilizing revolving shelves of crops. So this is going to be food output. Correct? Okay, this disease slightly increased, and this is squalor slightly increased. You know what? We're going to increase disease slightly with the foragers, but we're getting a good food output, so I like that. We're going to develop this idea, right? Is it 75 bucks? It's 75 bucks in euros uh, if you buy the ultimate edition. If you buy the normal edition, it's 45. But if you want to play the beta, we're going to pay up. I mean, obviously, that's why we're playing the beta. So you don't have to. <laughs> and we, we get you the, the answer straight away. Okay, now you can see we have 330 output in total. And we need 160. So our stockpile is growing like crazy. Nice to see, actually. Good. Um, like our our thing, nothing changed here actually. So we need minor crime. We need something against crime. I wish we could build something here, like like a anti-crime unit. I mean, forty-five for the game on release. If you just want to play the game on release, seems fine. I mean, this is for the beta and early access and everything to check if it's even worth it to um, buy the game on release. I mean, this is obviously not the story mode, but I have to say my fears are a bit alleviated so far. I just got to see how the whole council system works because right now we're going to build the council hall, the councillors, and then we'll see how that actually pans out, if that is any fun. I mean, currently I literally don't understand a little bit, like we have the material surplus, right? So we're getting, we're getting materials from wherever. We're getting food from central district. So we get 20 food. But we're essentially losing food like cray. Yeah, we're losing food like cray cray. Jesus. Okay, first council session. People cheer as the gates of the council open. It feels like a piece of the world lost to the frost has been regained. The people are hopeful to have their voice heard while the machinists and foragers clash about our survival strategy. Open the session. See, now you like this is different, right? This is, has never existed before. You have to do politics now. But is the politics boring? Okay. People of the city send 100 delegates to represent them. Your role as steward is to propose laws that will put to a vote. However, communities have different outlook on many things. You may have to negotiate or pressure them to get enough support. Okay. Propose a law. I want um, economy. Base necessities. Yeah, I want, I want people to be happy, right? So I want people, all the basic needs to be met. Okay, so to foster responsibility and reward work, citizens will be charged a small fee in exchange for essentials. Based on availability, the city will ensure that all citizens are provided what they need to survive for free. Yes. I want that. Propose. Propose. Okay, it's for against hesitant. Uh, how can I pressure delegates? No. Negotiate. What can I do? Open to foragers. We got. Okay, so we got. We got the machinists are ten against and seventy are hesitant. Let's see. I just did something for the machinists. Uh, what do we do? It will support the law during the next my terms. Vote for. And use the community action on machinist. 
Fun projects beneficial to their community. The larger their population, the more heat stamps required to fund them. Or, everyone must support the extraction work in effort to gain more resources for the city. Material output. This is a step towards progress. Or worker shifts. So, the machinists want... Everyone, yeah. So that's suddenly law supported. Okay. Ta da Vote. I win. <laughs> okay, free essentials. Everyone is getting free essentials. I'm good. I, I voted for this. See, that's what I'm saying. People might not like this because who wants to who wants to take care of that? Okay, so done. New law has been agreed on. Good. Their challenges ahead. Improve the coal extraction is a success, but the vein will only last so long. We need to explore the frost sun for a permanent source of fuel. That's the first step in our colonization effort. If we don't take it, the city will no future at all. This concludes the onboarding task in the preview. Remember, you can always consult the tutorial. Okay, now we need to... Build a logistic district in place of one of the old way station on the city outskirts. Find a permanent source of fuel. This is what we need to do. But before we need to, like, we have uh, 375 heat stamps remaining. If I would now go frost breaking, that is going to cost me 40 heat stems. So I could go for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. So they're going to be frost breaking out there now. Then we're going to be frost breaking towards materials too. And we're currently building hot houses. We cannot scarce resources too quickly. Yes, you're right. We cannot do this. <laughs> When we need to make sure our food is actually lasting because right now our food is running out. Um, our coal output is good, so we don't have to care about this, correct? So we're, we're nice. Um, but we, we're currently working, we're currently making sure that our hot houses are being uh, developed so we can do this. Now it's said we need to build a logistic district. So we got a industrial district. That one just does... Oh, that one outputs goods. Okay, so I need goods. That means if I build one, it's going to demand 50 materials. But we're currently spending... Demand is 60 by grinding coal mine, 50 by extracting district. Right? We're throwing 100 materials away per day. And we don't actually have anything that produces materials. Correct? So what does actually make materials? Ah, an extraction district makes materials too. Good. But only if placed on a material source. So I need to I need to take these materials here and I need to build an extraction district on the source of materials. And then I can also build a, <laughs> and then I can also build a food district to make food, correct? So we would, oh, that that's food. So we would build a food district, correct? And then we lastly need to build a, we can't build this because we don't have the materials. To build an industrial district to make goods. But for that industrial district. Shared workers. Ah. Oh. You can share workers. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. I'm going to share workers with this. I mean this. This. Uh, like. It's getting. Different. Interesting. If that makes sense. Okay. Is this wise for the steward to listen to them? What are you... What can I do, Fred Merker, for you? I mean, right now, no one got more happy with me. I thought people would actually get more happy. We're going to have our hot houses discovered in a bin. Our food is still going away. Our materials are... We are out of materials. That's great. So, we just burned through all our materials. And we need to make more materials. So, this is why we built this. Now, we got research in this... Oh, wait. Uh, they want something from me, right? Adaption is key. What did they want? Request funds. Let Forge just choose the next law to be voted on. 
Pick one of the three options to promise something for the, the Forge's worldview. Okay. Promise to pass expedition support. Promise to destroy grinding coal mine. No. Promise to research weather adjusted shifts. Okay, sure. I mean, society? Economy? There is no weather adjusted shifts. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I cannot. That's a good factor. Okay, what good factories? What do they do? They require more goods. Uh, but I need logistics base, advanced hothouses, filtration towers. Structure that circulates the ambient air through natural moss that absorbs. Oh, that makes people get less ill because of IC. Okay, so foul air is being dispersed outside of the city. Uh, um, there's a flashing icon. Oh, yeah, worker shifts here. Uh, we promised weather adjusted shifts. Okay, there we go. Weather adjusted shifts are being... And this guy wanted stockpiles depleted. Stuart, our initial stockpiles of materials have run out. Yeah, I'm working on it. Sir, you, do you think what this district is for? This district, district is going crazy. What we're going to do is... Oh, shit. We should actually increase the heat stem output, but we don't really have... I mean, we have a total output of materials of 150. So we're actually making materials. Not enough. We need to expand this. But shit, we can't expand this because we don't have space. That means I need to... Get the frost breakers to frost break this shit open so I could expand in that direction. Okay. Right? We get food, we get the hot houses. I can't I can't make them because I don't have the heat stems, which I need to wait for now to actually get the heat stems, correct? Uh my my city trust is increasing, so that's good. So people are liking me more, I guess. Yay. Well, we're currently, we have a industrial district, which makes more goods because people were asking for goods. We have a food district, which is actually making food. But the problem is that we still don't have enough food. We actually, yeah, we were screwed. That's bad. And we're not making enough materials, which is also bad. So we need a little bit of everything. I mean, if I make the um, hothouse now, the hothouse goes where? Ah, uh, here in the middle. Okay, so the hothouse would instantly increase our output of thingies. Council wants law proposal. Economy. Something is blinking here. They want city development effort. Everyone must support the extraction work in an effort to gain more resources for the city. Yeah, material output increase. I, I need this. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, perfect. So we want to propose this. We got 49 for 26 against. Um, but I need how many to pass this? I mean, this looks like I, I should win, correct? Then I need to negotiate. Oh, they don't want to negotiate grain. Fantastic. So no negotiations. Pressure. You're tolerated? No, I don't want to. I want to pressure anyone. What happens when I vote now? Just want to see. I need fifty. Oh, so fifty-one required. So this is not passing. Oh no! Oh, they actually vote for me. Oh. Oh, because they were undecided, but since they like me, um, I I see. Okay, I get it. I get it. Good. My hot houses are being built, so my food promise is being kept because that is plus 80, correct? It's at plus 80. But my material gain is now increased because we passed the law that everyone should be helping. Sue Miller, street urchin, looking for trouble. Lack of law regulating childhood is causing tension to rise throughout the city. And what am I supposed to do now? <coughs> what do you want me to do? 
Should I, should I kick them in the face? Stupid street urchins. Okay, our food is our food is safe, Chad. The foragers are delighted you kept your word. They now look up your rule more positively. Cool. We we got this, Chad. Full 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 trust to hand. Um now we can research. I wanted to have more production. I need more production, okay? So goods factories. Uh that would be material. No, I don't want good outputs. I want more well more materials. Sawmills would be Oh, but sawmills is a material output. Yes, this is what I want. Okay, massive sawmills. 200 material output. Yeah, I I need I need I need I I want I want the I want the right? Maybe try some stock of food. No, food is working out right now. Uh, tremendously because we have um we have like here 160 is a demand and 160 is output 20 20 60 60 so if i now actually expand this district slightly um for 50 heat stems we would instantly increase the output of food to a level where i'm suddenly positive so we get food under control. The problem is the material. And for that, we're researching the sawmills currently. And that should be working plenty well. The beta is only for pre-orders. Yes, I'm very sorry. I'm already eating my hammer before. What's well, uh, Johnny? That's fantastic. Maybe a good law against crime. I will definitely pass a law against crime because the problem right now is that the squalor is rising. Squalor, squalor is the word, right? Okay, what do we have here? Uh, Rex Dale, the lack of law regulation outsiders decreasing popularity growth. Okay. And the city grows, population growth. Okay, we get more people in. So we need a law to, to press against unlawfulness. <laughs> the law against unlawfulness. Okay, I got this. Right, we're going to have this going on in a second. Yeah, we have crime increase. And if I, the problem is we have minor squalor, right? If I now build those saw mines, people are going to be mad at me. We don't want that. Okay, now let's see. Uh, we need, were there just a chips? We had that. Shit, they, shit, that was the one I promised them, right? Yeah, okay, vote. There, there's nothing I have to do. Like we, we knew 51 people are going to vote for me, right? That was already like done for. We didn't have to actually go for anything. Uh, I feel the whole law thing is a bit anticlimactic currently. I'm not 100% sure about it. Okay, so council is in recess for nine weeks, and then I can pass something for hopefully anti. What is 31 absent? What does that mean? Layabouts. Temperature. Heat demand is increasing. Okay, so temperature is dropping. Heat demand is increasing. We're still making enough coal, so it's fine. We're not having enough shelter. And our generator is producing enough heat. Or do I have to crank it up now? Oh, no. The, the output is just automatically. Yeah, it's just automatically, like, being taken. Okay, I see. Uh, but we need more housing and we need more food. That's stupid. <laughs> I just I just made enough food. You can't be in instantly asking for more. Okay, we wanted to ex uh, um, expand the district. Because we can essentially expand over the next material source. And I'm not sure if that's actually going to be working out nicely. Because again, we need more of this. We should probably build... Can we build another hothouse just in there? Oh, we can build another hothouse. That's great. But what is it going to cost me? Demand 20 heat. Ah! Now I'm, I'm finally understanding where the problem is. So the more of these buildings I build, the more heat demand there is. The more coal output I need. My output is currently 362, right? Carol children. Okay, no common rules. Stuart, five children are dead and dozens lay wounded after two large youth gangs met. Uh, commit to solving the issue. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass a law. Okay, survival society. We need childhood and um, family apprenticeship or mandatory school. All children must work alongside one of their relatives so that they learn their trade. I think that's okay, right? Fuck school. Just have them work. <laughs> John, listen. We're gonna we're gonna 
like right like we're gonna have that we're gonna we're gonna have them work for me you're respected uh negotiate so we're gonna have the machinists because they're what do the machinists want vote for let machinists choose the next law that could be bad sawmill i mean we're working on their sawmill anyways fantastic yes 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 i i, I like I, I i'm working on this sawmill anyways chad this is this is perfect <laughs> I wanted to build that one, so we're currently researching it, right? So let's get let's get the kids to like let's get the kids to work. Everyone, that's that's a bigger workforce instantly because we now have children working. <laughs> I don't know if I should be proud of that. <laughs> okay, so children are working now. We get the worker shifts, we get the hot houses, uh, we have the waste heat conversion. That would be, this will redirect excess heat from industrial machines to housing districts and infrastructure, increasing the heat available to the city. Oh, that's great. That's a good idea. Uh, resource production efficiency is significantly increased. Yeah, yeah, this, this is good, I think, right? Do I understand? I'm not sure if I understand that right. Uh, and we can now build a extraction mechanized sawmill. There you go. And that should actually bump up our production to a point where I'm Gucci. Because this is being built now. Promise to machine is kept. Woo. I told them I would do it, right? So now we got uh yes. So we are we demand 260 and we're outputting 388. Boom. We're making a surplus. That's nice. We still need more goods and we still need some more housing. For the housing, I could say we are increasing the housing district, but we can't actually because, wait, no way. Can I increase the housing district? So we could, oh, we could share. Oh, that's interesting. So I could, could I increase the housing district. No, I couldn't, I couldn't increase it in, I could increase it in this direction, but that would mean they're getting a bit of industrial smog. Okay, we don't want this, so we're gonna increase the housing, um, this housing district to the, still getting the heat, still getting the heat, yeah. So that one gets increased. Now we need to bump up the goods. I could make this bigger, right? But that doesn't, yeah, let, let's expand this for a second. We'll make this bigger and see where it goes. I mean, our heat requirements is 452 output. We should probably either get this bigger or build another can i can i just simply build another coal mine well, i can't build two coal mines so that wouldn't work but i could extend this district no i can't extend the district Greg, i thought i thought i could but it was like i can't Oh, I lack heat stems to inspect everything. Okay, housing is taken care of. Not? Still not? Okay, the outsiders. Stuart, it seems some of the citizens are profiteering from outsiders trying to get into the city. We caught smugglers. Set rules for entry. Okay. We take care of next. We almost have goods taken care of. Surplus. And surplus in food too. So we're we're Gucci on that one. Okay, now let's see. First, we need a law for outsiders. Waste heat recycling. Go redirect excess heat from industrial machines to housing districts and infrastructure, increasing the heat available to the city. That was the plan. So we'll vote for this. You should check. I, I know I, where I sent the frost breakers. Don't worry. Um, but we're we're not there yet to actually build this. So I don't think it would work. Now we need to research New York model. I don't know what that even means. Okay, we could get the filtration. Advanced hot houses would be more food. Logistic base is what? Logistic, restoring and handling only essential survival gear and providing training on how to use it efficiently. Uh, automatic logistic base. Logistic base where machine manufacture equipment and demand to minimize personal and storage needs. Huh. Uh, we 
we get no wait we need society we need something like hospital watchtowers watchtowers against crime fuck crime okay uh command post where guards are quartered maintain order in the city or come on uh this is wait this is watchtower or this is the same so this doesn't change uh and we can just research that would be like taking care of business right makes sense watchtowers uh we still need to increase the output so i would say i make this i can't okay so you can only expand this one single time you can't actually expand. i was i was thinking like i could probably increase this multiple times but i can't so it's only one district in, like in in size production increase okay um we need more housing that's for sure because people are not happy with the housing. I mean, we, we expanded this, as you said. We have the way station here. But in order to build something, I would have to build another uh, logistic district. And that cost me another 50 materials. And right now, we're barely... We actually do make enough materials to put this out. But I think before I do this, I should probably build another industrial district. Because that needs 50 materials. But we would actually get all the goods. And then we are, we're safe. Technically. Uh, William Hunter. Ice blocks formed in support of heat recycling and family apprenticeship. Okay. So that's good. <laughs> that's that's good. So a new voice, the ice bloods. Seven percent of the city. Ardent survivalists, they recruit from the most resilient and capable individuals in the city. This is their manifest. Adaption, merit, tradition. Um they seek to pass expedition support, allow productivity outsiders ceremonial funerals okay so that's that's good the ice spots will send people for hunting trips make promise grant uh, i kind of want to fund the project but make a promise what do they want Promise to pass infection batch. Promise to destroy mechanized sawmill. Promise to research Apex workers. Okay, none, none yet. Sorry. Uh, make a promise. Promise to repel heat recycling. Promise to build mechanized sawmill. I already did that. And what can I promise these lads? Destroy. Promise to research untreated wood sawmill. I can't promise anything to these lads, Yan. There's no no way I can't do anything, right? How's the stream going, Diamond? I mean, we're having we're we're trying to uh, have our city survive, which is which is more complicated than it looks like. So we got we get like extraction, right, to to have our heat, but our heat is actually down, so we're not overproducing. We're actually losing at this moment. So we got to think about a way how to make our coal mine a little bit more efficient. Uh, we have the people want to steer the city closer to their ideals. Okay, so the ice bloods are doing ice blood things. And then we get to hire our goods output to have everyone happy. So that's kind of like my goal. But the problem is if I just build another one of these. So like technically, technically I would have to build another um, industrial district, right? And they would share workforce, which is actually kind of interesting. So we got another industrial district popping. And that would make sure that our goods demands are met and everyone is happy. We do need to build a little bit more housing as well, which is a problem because then they instantly want more food. <laughs> so stop it. And they want more heat. And if we actually go for more heat, and that's like the biggest problem, right? If they want more heat, we don't have more heat. Our heat production is right now going down. And I'm not entirely sure how I could bump the heat production up a little bit further. Uh, I mean, I could I could just tell them go for more shifts, right? But we don't want that. That'd be kind of not the what wave here currently. So I guess what I'm going to have to research next time is survival, the advanced coal mines. I don't see anything other because uh, this is then going to be helping us to potentially go better. So these they are supporting me. These are neutral currently. I need to have them supporting me so let them choose the next law no um yeah or i just i just have them like they, i mean they're 49 they're only 44 i'm gonna have the machinist 
that the council agenda? I hope this is not going to go bite my tail. We'll see about this. <sighs> Heat demand is increasing. Yep, we need 421, right? I mean, our, our thing is... I'm, I'm still not sure about this cool thingy. So we have requirements is 421, correct? And the output is 421. We need uh, the grinding coal mine, the extraction district, and the stockpile. So it doesn't show us that we're making enough, right? From, from this menu, I don't understand if I'm making enough. I mean, currently we have an output of 297, right? But it's kind of like not visible here. If I'm like, right? Like from, from this, from this, I only know we're making minus because of the tiny arrow. From this, I know we're making minus as well. I was actually thinking we're making plus, but we're not making plus anymore. Even though I thought we had plus because we had like 351 being made, right? You can still negotiate with the others to vote against. That is true. I mean, right now I'm just waiting for my... I'm waiting for my research to pass so I can go for the advanced coal mines. Okay, so what can we do? We have more coal output, way more coal output, and medium coal output. Okay. Deep shaft coal mine. Yeah, we need more coal output. Like, there's no question. I, I, need, I need the maximum coal output possible. I don't even want to talk about it, right? Just give me more. Just give me deeper colds and everything. Okay, we can build housing and we can build a watchtower now. So with a watchtower, where would a watchtower go? Or do you, do you build a... No, it has an empty building slot. Uh, command post, R quarter to maintain order in the city. Ah, here. I can build one. So it's, it's blinking there as if I can build it here. But I, oh, I could. Okay, watchtower is being built, Chad. It's going to take care of crime. Okay, let's see. Machinist session in two weeks. We start a family here. We board children. We But now these ice bloods walk around telling people what to do. Uh, wait, so there's another faction forming. This is not okay. We don't want another faction. This is not nice. Okay, the technocrats, they want... La, 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 they're like la, la, the machinist, la, la. but not like the machinist. Stuart, it was only a matter of time. We had an unusually long streak of mild weather, but now are clear. A whiteout is coming. The wind will cause extreme cold and the clouds will blot out the sun. Okay. Uh, well, luckily, we don't have enough shelter and everyone will die. Fantastic. <laughs> Felix, thank you for the 28 months of support. Welcome to the Knights of the Round Stable. Hope you're doing well. Hope life finds you good. Okay, council is in six weeks. And these lads, what do they want? No, the machinists, what do they want? Make a promise. Promise to repel the heat. Promise to build a mechanized sawmill. We already have one build. See, this is what I don't understand. If I have a mechanist sawmill already built, can I just select this and then the promise is done? Because I have one build already. This should be good. Family apprenticeship promises a better future for this. Yeah, see, this is working. Sue. She, she's happy, ladies and gentlemen. I think they want more, but I don't think I can build more. Heat demand is increasing. You did not regulate outsiders in time. Chaos around the topic persists in the city. Okay, I'm sorry. I tried. Let's see. Survival. Heat recycling. That's 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 what we wanted. Oh no, unregulated worker shifts. Okay, so they want weather adjusted shifts. Resource product efficiency is slightly decreased. I don't I don't want this. But the worker is oh god, this is bad. But disease would be slightly decreased, so that's good. Hmm. Well, I need to get the people that are against it to vote for me. Negotiate. 
Okay, the machinists are mostly against. What can I get you? I can fund one of their projects, Ryan. Fund projects beneficial to their community? Uh, repel heat. Re no, okay, so I can fund a project if you're happy with this. Because I, I have nothing else I can give you. We'll need to fund one of their projects. How are the resources growing now? I'll show you. Okay, we got we got that. And we need to fund one of the machinist projects now, right? Machinists are delighted you kept your word. They now look up your rule positively and consider your leader with integrity. Because you kept your promise to use projects on machinist. Okay, cool. Good. <laughs> So, uh, we are currently at 140 shelter. We're overproducing food. That's nice. Our materials is going down. That's bad. So, we'd actually have to increase the material district, but we can't. We already have increased it. Um, that means we would have to build another material district and or we would have to build another um, sawmill. But before I build that, I would actually promise the people to build. But our good surplus is positive and that's nice because that helps. But we're also running out of coal. So, that's bad. The good thing is our coal uh, research is actually done in a second and we're going to be able to overproduce coal. So that would be nice, hopefully. So now we got the new coal mine and we should be able to build a blasting coal mine. And in order to build a blasting coal mine... So wait, 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 wait. Um... Foragers, make a promise. Uh, promise to destroy mechanized sawmill. No. Make a promise. Promise to destroy mechanized sawmill. No. Promise to build. I was I was hoping to. On the project. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to, to give you money. No, the, this is bad. No, I want... <sighs> I didn't want to give them... Okay, technocrats begin protesting. Stuart, the technocrats have been growing skeptical towards the direction. Send guards. <laughs> <laughs> Protest begins collapsing. The relation with technocrats improved enough. They don't feel inclined to protest anymore. Okay, that's... Bad, I guess, because they shut down the food district and we don't like this. Okay, we have to destroy the um how do I destroy this? So grinding coal mine disabled. How do I how do I get rid of that building to build the blasting coal mine? Do I have to destroy the whole thing to rebuild it? That would seem a bit rushed. Ryan? The demolish. There's no demolish here. Demolish there. Additional button on the left. Ah, there. Where she went to demolish. Yep. Running coal mine is now demolished or not? Demol ah, it's it's actually debuilding. Okay. Now I can rebuild a blasting coal mine. Boom. Okay, that gives me research now to charcoal plants. Uh, charcoal regeneration plant. It uses a mix of wood combustion and natural bacteria to produce a coal substitute from wood and already spent charcoal. Uh, that's cool. A uh, facility that burns wood at a very high temperature in the absence of oxygen to decompose it a coal substitute. Okay, this is taking... What are you doing? Charcoal regeneration plant. So they're, they're, they're also for the pyrolytic charcoal plant. When we just made disease go down, so I guess if we get something that makes disease go up, that's a good thing. But we don't have the uh, thingy to actually do this. 
right now. Hmm. Rhine works. We need material output, Rhine. And we need more material output. So I need currently. Okay, now I can research ironworks. Hopefully. Material is up. Goods are up. Heat is going down. We're actually, we're losing all our heat. Ongoing protest. Give me a second. Stuart, if you don't want to negotiate with the protesting faction, guards can disperse them. Okay, so we get the protest ongoing. That means non-neutral, neutral, favorable, favorable. I mean, maybe I want to do my own law at this point. We got weather adjusted shifts. No, we're not talking about weather adjusted shifts. You shut your face. These are my rules. Okay, economy. I need people to... Mmm. Goods. No, no, materials. Waste heat conversion, food additives. Heat, we, he, what do we have? Goods would be, in order to overcome scarcity, we'll organize our production lines to increase good productivity. Good productivity significantly increased. Good demand per capita is marginally decreased. Yeah. You know, that sounds good. Durable goods propose. I mean, 40 are for, 30 are hesitant, 29 are against. You know what? I'm not going to even negotiate. I'm going to just go see what happens. What everyone is a mechanized sawmill. I already have the mechanized sawmill, so we're we're out there. Ladies and gentlemen, that means that the good demand is going down. So I could shut down part of this. That, is that what I could do? <laughs> well, right now we are we still need more materials because we're slowly running out of materials, right? And we're actually running out of heat, but I don't know what I should what I'm supposed to do. I mean, probably I should disable. I should nuke this one because they're currently. This is wait. This is outputting. Wait. So wait. 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 This one is outputting. Forty five or twenty seven. I'm, I'm like, I'm not sure if I understand. It seems to be outputting 30, 18, correct? And if I do half shifts, then we're suddenly having a surplus of materials again. Correct? And we're still producing enough. Aha. And we're also better on the coal side of things. Okay, what do we have here? Radicalization. The technocrats grow more radical because stewards send guards against them. Oh, that's bad. But how do I make more coal now? Do I do emergency shift? Do we have more output? But that doesn't help with the stockpiling because we're making 451 but our generator needs 451 can i just have it do less i mean so soon the the warmer season is coming so then we should be fine I feel, I feel a bit stumped because I can't like really influence the amount of coal we're making, right? I'm, I'm trying my best. I can't make more. And the more houses I build, because I, I kind of need to build houses, right? I need to I need to have my people survive. But if I build another uh, housing district, that's going to need another 40 heat. And for that, I need like, yeah. But 
I can't make this bigger. This is the biggest it can go, and this is the most it can output, and I can't actually have them, like, keep working forever, right? Well, that's not going to work. I mean, at least the food district is overproducing. Can I can I just have the... and do half shifts here? No, then we would go down. It would be bad. Can I turn... I can't turn one of the plans off as well. We're just barely making enough, right? When we need keyed... Maybe we should frost break the other part of the coal depot. We have everything frost broken that is there. There's not much to frost break here further. So there is no coal depot here. I mean, we have the materials, right? This is material, material, material. Uh, this is the iron deposit and there is more goods here. So we could do the old waste station. I mean, we could uh, send the logistic thingies out. That's possible. Or something is happening. Disable lack of required deposit. What? Oh, they, they need a deposit. Okay. So we need to build a... Uh, material deposit. Wait, where did I just build that? Okay, material deposit has... Wait, has that been built? Where has that been built? Wait. I hope it has been built here. Or did I accidentally build it here? No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't build it here. No, 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 no. No, 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 I didn't, I did I did I did no, 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 no. I wanted to build it. Here. Yeah. I want to build it here. Yeah. We need to nuke that. And this one needs to... Unmet demands? What, why, why are you not having your demands, man? Oh, because, okay. Th things are things are getting out of control. We get the ironworks done with steel foundries. They make more material. Okay, cool, cool. Woodworks makes materials. Uh, you thermal plants. Apex worker. Resource production efficiency is increased. Heat demand is decreased. Yes. Apex workers, let's go. Here, uh, make a promise. Promise to destroy. Oh shit! Shit! I wanted to promise them to research workers, but that didn't work. Shit. Okay, law proposal. Um, society, funerals, childhood, economy, uh, outsiders. Okay, we need something for outsiders. Uh, population growth is increased. Population growth is increased. Accept all outsiders. Allow productive outsiders. Yes. Only productive ones. We don't want unproductive ones. Okay. I want to negotiate with the faction of the forgers. And you want vote for. And we have... Yeah, expedition support. We can, we can do that. Cool. Is this a very hard game? Um, it's a game where things get out of control very quick. Right? So you gotta be, you gotta be looking out because like, I, I'm barely keeping up with the demands, right? Um, Apex worker controversy. Stuart, our guards have apprehended a researcher named Max Horkheimer, who is caught trying to destroy documents regarding Apex workers. Through interrogation is said, with this research, we open the gates to insanity and extremity. Um... You're about to finish researching extreme research. Wait, I suppose call him a lunatic not to be listened to. They deem this research to be essential. What should be done? Continue, but allow objections. Continue and fire researchers who object. Relation is slightly worsened with machinists and technocrats. Uh, tension is slightly increasing. Okay, so research speed is anyways going to be decreased. So we might as well just allow it to go on. Um, what is their problem here right now? This district is not working. So what is the problem? Why is the sawmill disabled? Lack of the required deposit, but we just built the deposit. We have a material deposit going on. So why can you not? Huh? Eh? 
Ice Pellets Rallies build support. Stuart, the Ice Pellets have started gathering for Rallies supporting your rule. Promise to research unproductive maintenance. Promise to research refurbishing goods factory. Dutiful youth. Okay, we'll see about that. So this makes no sense. We get the rally going on, so they're they're fine. They're trying to vote for me, right? 137 people get injured. I mean, you know, things happen. It's fine. But yeah, I have the material depot there. It's there. It's it's material, so the you could output more materials. I don't understand. why this is not the logistic districts wouldn't do anything for me at this point the logistic district costs more materials and i don't have the materials to support it it needs 50 materials and i don't have that so what i would have to do is i would have to build another Extraction district, probably. But in order to do this, I need to... Free this of the sources. When we get a Cilicia Ironworks now... I could technically... Because people have been asking me. They want the sawmill to go away, right? So I could say they wanted to make a promise. Promise to research. No. Oh, some people died. Oh, promise to destroy research machine adjusted chips. I mean, they all want shitty things. So I, I like kind of dislike this. So we're going to nuke the mechanized sawmill. Who's anyways not working right now. A rowdy funeral. No common rules. Commit to solving this issue. Yeah. Oh yeah, the 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 zone is depleted. You're right. When we we went through ninety thousand materials, we need to demolish the whole district essentially, and then we need to rebuild the new district on the on the new thingy. Broken vow. Uh, promise to build a mechanized sawmill. Ah, uh, shit. I can't promise you that because I'm not planning to build one. I'm planning to build another extraction district right here. On all these three extraction depots, right? That's what I'm promising. And then when this one is done... Iteration problems in the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can can everyone calm down for a second? Need repairs? Repair the district. 100 heat stamps. Why can I not oh, I, I did repair this? Why is this not working? Because this is disabled lack of required deposit. Great, the deposit ran out. That's fantastic. And I'm with fantastic, I mean that's terrible. Um <laughs> See, see, this is what I was trying to tell you about. Things might get out of hand really, really quick. Okay. Why can I not w put the ironworks on this? I don't understand. Does, does this need to be bigger for the ironworks to work? On first. Yeah, let's expand this thingy. Then we're building the uh, ironworks. Still can't. That's bad because the sawmill was never enough. Factory where sand is utilized. Is oh, I'm an idiot. This only works on. This only works on iron, obviously, because it's called iron works. Right. Okay, we don't have enough heat because we're running out of and they're overworking themselves this is not having enough demands Matt so that's bad uh, okay support their initiatives things are going out of hand uh, 
I mean, this, this is like this is like bad, like because everyone is like against things. So this whole district is not working anymore. So we can nuke this. But the problem is we would have to build a new food district, but we don't have any food anywhere. So what am I going to do? I mean, there is there's food up here. We need to frost break one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to be frost breaking there. And then we got more materials on this side. We get another coal deposit all the way down there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. <sighs> Just hitting the fan, huh? I mean, see, this is how everything goes out of control. I kind of feel like rebuilding everything anew because I kind of didn't do this the smart way, right? Um, I kind of, I kind of want to redo it. Yeah, because we're dying. Like everything is getting out of control. I mean, now, now I learned how things are working. So I kind of feel like, you know, if we would start from the beginning, I could do things smarter. Now we need to build the next food district again, right? It's kind of a bit annoying that things can just run out and you then have to raise the district because I kind of feel like I, I want to keep the district. Like why would I have to raise it? Um, how many hours do you play Frostpunk? 100. I mean, I essentially solved every Frostpunk scenario because I wanted to, right? I wanted to make it perfect. Okay, our material output is way too low for anything. We, we, we don't have any output for anything, so things are bad. Okay, well, let's, <laughs> that, that was save game, and we're going to call it um, failure one. And let's go to the main menu. Yes. And try to do the thing a little bit better this time. Okay. Utopian, Windswept Peaks. We're going to do Machinists and Foragers. I kind of like these two. Fact no, we could start with a different faction though. So you can start with different communities in the beginning. Uh, this time it's going to be Workers and Merchants. So we did, we did Machinists and Foragers first. We could do Workers and Merchants or Lords and Thinkers. So we do workers and oh no it's not available in the preview actually sadly i can't no i can't do this i can only do meshness and forages currently that's sad okay this is the preview yes this is the beta and we're essentially uh trying to see if the game is worth it like should you spend your money on this is this something i would i would go for right So let's see, let's do things a bit better. The city must not fall. So what we're going to change here this time is... Okay, coal is running out. So we know there's a coal deposit here. We're going to do frost break. That's the coal deposit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Frost breaking that. And we'll take our money to go frost break. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. And we're going to frost break in the direction of the iron in the long run and the food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's all frost break in all directions. And right now, you like we notice that our things are not good. Now we need to build a housing district. And that's going to go into one, two, three, four, five, six. Go into that direction. We're looking at their housing done. Cross breaking done. That means we can now build the extraction side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's build. Uh, then we need to wait until we get research because right now we don't have the research yet, right? We need to wait until we're allowed research. But annoying. Uh, we need to build a... So we'll provide shelter from the cold. Thank you very much. So we get the shelter build as well. And then we're going to expand this district by another one, two, three, three. Okay. Now we build their research institute, housing research institute, and that needs to go in here. And it has like the free spot for that. 
then we need to research coal mines back here we have now the coal output of we have a higher coal output right but our generator is taking more we have 120 the generator needs 125 okay. so show me our options different ideas community so this is the idea tree and we are now going to go for coal mines and we're obviously going to make the bigger coal mine because we needed that we needed the more the, the, the better coal mine the bigger one i'm wondering if i could do the double research again though so that's a big question what we also need to build is a extraction district on the material and since we got like 90,000 material i'm wondering if i could build one two three four five six so can i cover all six deposits is that possible right it produces coal from wood like in part one uh there is a research for this so if we're looking for research right now uh there's coal mines then there's coal there's sawmills so sawmills would produce material output right now but you have down here somewhere this material 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 so you have coal multiple multiple things right we're gonna see for it. we're gonna see what what is possible at some point what i'm kind of annoyed with again is like that if the materials are out i have to raise that district kind of makes me sad no instead of disabling that i just raise the whole district but i think i shouldn't just get attached to district simple as it is right now we can expand this district which is interesting and i could do one two three and then i have all things covered right it's actually pretty huge so this one should be outputting like it has 445,000 wood remaining that's a lot there's another coal deposit that we can tap into if we need coal right now we're just researching things right now uh, we get enough we don't have enough living space so i do actually need to produce district and hubs i need to make one two three four five six another one and then i also need to make a food district because we get one two three four five six and I think if I actually built the housing district closer, the food and the housing district could have shared some worms together, which would have been nice. Now our food district is making food, but not enough. So we'd have to expand this. But we can't. Have to... When we got material surplus, right? Food minus. Uh, coal is also minus, but we're almost there with the research. So boom research done now i can build my extraction side so the grinding coal mine and we need to expand this one two three to have the output higher and we can construct uh yeah we can we can research now straight away for advanced coal mines technically to get the deep shaft coal mine or the blasting coal mine uh or we could go for economy which would be housing block housing block is more shelter a residential tower designed to provide shelter ah that would that would be um just more shelter without me having to make things bigger society was hospitals and watchtowers watchtowers was against crime but we want to have coal mines hot houses was for more food we need hot houses so i can make more food and they have less heat demand so that's important because more heat demand is disastrous for us right but now we have the council needs to be built as well council hall goes down there so we got material and the materials is actually minus look at this we're actually producing 190 but we need 210 so we need to we need to straight away research something for more thingies right council gathers for the first time open the session and i think i'm gonna go for children workers straight away my wife is sending me a message i need to listen to this
So we need uh, society, childhood, and childhood workers. No, wait. Um, economy. We want heat stamps, income per capita decrease, resource production effectiveness slightly increased. Yeah, that was that was the thing I wanted to have. I want to have people pay for things. Sorry. <laughs> And we're going to negotiate with the machinist. And what we're going to promise them is that we will build a grinding coal mine. Right? No, we want a grand agenda. So they can, they can have the next agenda. That's fine. Congratulations. And we're going to pass the law. Now everyone has to pay for shit and we get better. What's up with the $75? Well, that's what the pre-order costs. Forced. I mean, the, the game costs, if you want to pre-order it, 75 so you can play the beta and you can play a few days early. Now you're going to say, I don't need this. I'm fine with this. And that's okay, right? Like, like sure, you, you don't need this. Like, it's, it's not needed. Uh, but, like, this is why we're playing the beta for you. To show you if it's worth it, needed, or not. Right? Currently, a bit of the plan here, kinda, to to go with the. Do you even need to? Should you? Should you? No. The seventy-five bucks also includes the future DLCs. Yes, but if you don't like the base game, right? Are you gonna go for the DLCs? <laughs> okay, our coal production is up, Chad. Ooh, that's working. So coal production up. We're stockpiling like there's no tomorrow. Fantastic. That's great. We just need more food. We have enough shelter. Uh, we need to make more food. And we need, need to make more materials. And we need to make more goods. The problem with goods right now is the biggest thingy. Because the this costs 50 materials. And we're already not making enough materials. Right? So I would, I would just essentially use up my materials even faster. Bit of a bummer. What I could do is I could share the workforce. So that's actually a good thing, right? So we built the industrial district here that we don't need that many workers. And we have a discontent here a little bit. The lack of law regulation is causing, yeah, we need to children workers next time. Children workers next time. We could build another food district instead of doing hot houses though. If I build another food district, then I could just take care of the food problematic. But first we get a research, and in this term, we actually need... Mm, we need a sawmill. Yep. And that sawmill needs to be a... God, I need 60 heat. This is my problem. I was going for maximum output, and by going for maximum output, I was... Powering my coal output to a world where it was really bad. Okay, we're gonna develop this. And we're gonna pass a law on children. So we get more workers. Sorry. Sorry, chat, but this is important. I need my children to work for me. Uh we need the foragers to. Be able to choose the next agenda. Oh. Okay, Oxy, good to see you there. How are you doing? Metal Lords is going on the Game Pass as well. Yes, Game Pass is currently a 10 out of 10 worth it. Absolutely. I mean, games on Game Pass is great, but obviously, uh, some people still don't know about the amazingness of it. You know, some people ignore the Game Pass existence. Okay, we got... I mean, everything is fine with, like, two factions. As soon as another faction joins, you're kind of screwed. Right? So we need the heat thingy right now. No, we need the sawmill first. We build the bio waste. The food remaining is 140,000. Finally, I see where this is going. Demands and requirements. Yep. I don't know what this 50 locked means. That's what I didn't understand here. 
a building district's requirements resource low on the other hand they have also have their demands the amount of kind of boot to your overall demand of the city mean requirements are listed in the top section right now we're missing goods in order to get more goods i could expand this district for 50 heat stamps right but before we do this i actually want to research the sum i uh, know actually we can do the 50 heat stamps straight away it's gonna be one two three so then we would have the goods mad we would have the food mad we'd have everything mad and the only thing that's missing is a construction building uh industrial depot that cost me 150 heat stems that's bad i need a new law i need economy i need community service material output increased uh or we need outsiders to have more heat stems because if i get more heat stems right now i can faster build things no one will negotiate well let's see can i force them i mean i would go from tolerated to tolerated so that's good so i'm forcing them i mean i might have won this anyways but we'll see how about logistics to find fuel outside Tetsuko? Well, the problem is I can't afford that. Like right now, the bigger problem is that I can simply not afford it. Hey, the lack of law regulation regulating outsiders is decreasing popularity growth. How is that possible when I just passed something? Okay, the sawmill is out. We're building the sawmill. Ta-da. And as I'm building the sawmill, I should promise them that I'm actually building a sawmill. <laughs> and we want to research now. We get sawmills, woodworks. That would be the even bigger output. Bus blade woodworks. But we're not going to like rework this right now. And this would be material output on iron. Goods factories would be more goods, but we don't need more goods. Uh, there's the logistics. We need the advanced hothouses. That would be more food, but we don't need that as well. Worker shifts. That was heat demand is slightly decreased. Disease is slightly decreased. Resource production efficiency is slightly decreased. Or workforce requirements. No, we need none of this, actually. When I'm raising the squalor, it is what it is. The city grows. Thank you very much. I'd like to hear that. Uh, we could expand our district for 50. So we have more houses. I mean, this one is producing like here. We we have resource dep depot is full. So we need to actually build a resource depot so we can farm more. Right. So 150 construct buildings. Uh, we need a construction. This is fuel depot. Uh, I rushed the logistics building on my third round. See, I'm, I'm going to be trying the logistic building in a while, but I'm still trying to, like, kind of get to the point here right now. Okay, wait. We are having ice bloods, form support of grinding coal mine, paid essential of family apprentices. Yeah, the ice bloods are there. And they would like to make a promise. Promise to research dutiful youth. Society, we get family apprenticeship. Funerals would be trust loss resulting from deaths is decreased. Disease is decreased. Research speed is increased. Oh. Survival, we get goods. Good demands is marginally decreased. Goods production efficiency is significantly increased. Food additives, food output per capita is increased. yeah let's do that propose i mean i should pass this without much so i'm just gonna have people hopefully vote for it the 
we but it kind of feels like you can't fail this but maybe it's just like for me going on there okay disease minor we got squalor minor these guys are skeptical that's bad so i need to grant them the agenda next time so they're not getting skeptical right I'm going to send them out for a hunting trip because they want to do that anyways. So let, let him go, right? Uh, we're making material surplus. So our, our sawmill is working, but now our generator is eating up what we're doing. Right? So we can't actually, with one coal thingy, keep up with the demands of things. Which means that we technically have to go for the next full thingy. I mean, let me once in a while... Oh shit, we're actually... No, we, our materials is just, like, just not enough. That's actually kind of mean. Okay, cutthroat economy, paid essentials. Steward, now that we're charging for essentials, some unemployed families are unable to afford their basic necessities. Paid essential provides less heat stem income. Okay, that's fine. We're not going to make people mad. And at least we're making bonus, right? But what we need is we need a um, material output building. Right? Resource productivity is significantly increased. I mean... And I promised them that I would search this. So the machinists, they want this, right? Promise to research heat injection. Yep, I'll totally do that. Ah, 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 Done. Now, <laughs> uh, we don't have any building slots for production, right? Yet. We're barely just making food. So what I'm going to take is... I'm going to take my frost breakers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should work, hopefully. Greetings to Brazil. Night, you. How are you doing? Also, the question marks on the right side, by the way, they're just giving you some information, but it's not like that we need any of this. Okay, what do we have? I suppose want to steer the city close to their ideals. Yes, they want to. We like the ice bloods, technically. Machinists demand vote on machine adjusted shifts. I'm working on things, okay? I mean, these dudes, they like me, so that's fine. We could fund one of their projects. What they want? Request funds. We can't do that. I mean, it's funny that you can actually request funds from them, right? But I can't do this. You know what? I should I should tell them that we're that we're supporting the ice bloods, right? But right now we need more heat stems in general because that's what we're usually running out of. Okay, we actually have this done, so we can build another extraction district. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That'd be another distraction district. And that would get us... Like, like it, it would work with a surplus of materials we're producing. Because we have an 86 surplus, right? And this one has like another 200 weeks of materials remaining. So now we're suddenly making more coal again. Ta-da! That's green. But our problem is that we need something for material output because I'm not going to build another material thingy. I mean, this food is running out. So I we're finally in the position. I have a 36 material surplus. Uh, we're almost in the position to afford building the logistic districts, which would cost me 50 materials. Right. Press break around iron. Uh, we're probably going to do that. But before we do this, we need to wait for the research to be done. So we kept our promise to the machinist. Everyone is happy. And we could now...
We could research ironworks, which would give us a huge material output of 200 easily. And it wouldn't cost us too much. That means we could take the Frostbreaker and go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right now. And we'll need to get our funds up again. The forgers are furious you broke your word. They now look up in your rule for negative and doubt your integrity. Wait, why? What 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 did I do? Oh, I'm sorry, foragers. How about I make you a promise that I'll pass expedition support the next time. You know? We cool? Because these guys, anyways, want probably the expedition support too, because they are totally in favor of that. That means I'll be giving that them the next time. I mean, our goods not being up is a bit annoying. Kids are happy. They're working. <laughs> working kids are happy kids. Right? So we got food remaining. We got fuel remaining. We get materials materialing. I am not happy though that we are essentially... Oh, we got a material surplus of 73. What? Since when? What happened? That means with a material surplus of 73, I can actually finally build the logistics center. The logistic district? Hey, why, why not? You didn't forge this completely, did you? Okay, frost breaking, and then we'll build it next next time. Because we seem to be making enough. A colder season is coming, that's bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, we can officially build the logistic district. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. And then what we could do is uh, separated families allow productivity outsiders. Relax the law to keep families closer. Stuart, a large group of people have set up camp outside the city, but one of our checkpoints, they claim to be relatives of outsiders we let in. Okay. Allow productivity will increase the percentage of active workers. Hmm. That's fine, but we need to leave people in. What I could do in here is I could build another... <clears throat> I could build another grinding coal mine to keep up with the uh, heat demand. Because right now it's getting like, it's getting warmer, colder, warmer, colder. Dude, we're, we're stockpiling like crazy. Okay, what do you want? Ice Bloods Rally Support. Okay, so... <clears throat> promise to research patrol watchtowers yes i'm promised to research that because i actually want to do this right I, I want to have the watchtowers happening work shifts and we had machine adjusted shifts well this is looking bad yeah i'm sorry i cannot research that heat injection i promise heat injection actually Mm. Oh, this is bad. I can force this. Yikes. I'm not sure if this is the vibe. <clears throat> because they are hating me now. Ryan? We got heat injection done, but for what price? That's the big question, Ryan. No, 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 no. You can't, like, please. You have to like me. I, I need to I need to give you heat stamps so you like me. Because these dudes, they're actually opposing me. So I need to uh, grant them agenda. Yeah. I mean, if I have the ice bloods, be happy about it. And these guys to be happy. That could work. because that would be good i mean i need to promote them so they like me i need to research I and mean, wait we are resource deposit is full 
but that's okay because the plan was to build we have this district actually fully built now ongoing construction yeah we're gonna work in a second uh our fuel deposit is also full Jeez. I want too many things and i can't go with the demand get the iron works wood works goods fact goods factory i wanted to do this so we can get more goods um the ice bloods want this so the ice bloods get this and we have to make a fuel depot because we can never run out of fuel shit in order to get a fuel depot i need to actually extend this and i don't have the space that's bad so we're gonna make a wait wait, wait. we need to make a fuel goods materials material depot and i accidentally built one again in this this area i think we will be ready a whiteout is coming yeah that's bad okay we had no waste heat management no efforts are taken to reuse excess heat from individuals no i want i want we'll see again Let's see what happens <clears throat> So I don't think we need to frost break around iron at this point because we should be fine. Um, like the main, oh, why is this paused? Why is this paused? Wait, I want this to continue. Yeah. Oh, we get more people living among us. That's bad because they want more housing. I don't have more housing. I mean, seriously, I was just done saving up some money and you, you just want more. Uh-uh, uncool. When do you know how expensive you people are? Or Chad. It's the truth. What can I say? Okay, we're researching a goods factory. I mean, I could build another food district to make everyone happy, I guess. And they would share heed. So that's nice. Ryan. Our coal deposit is full and we need to ice break. It's ready and frost and team standby order. Shrubland exploration is now possible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got Frostland exploration. Okay, so what we need is we need to promise something. Before I do any exploration, we need to promise something. That means uh make promise fund projects, grand agenda. Mm, we can't promise them anything. Make promise. We could promise them something. Uh, promise to pass machine adjusted shift. Promise to destroy bioways. Promise to research and mechanize sawmill. I already have no, no, and no. Uh, sorry. So we need to roll out. Okay, what can we do? Uh, that is just around the riverbend. We followed a petrified river up through the frost and spotted sharp north here. It could be an indicator of a resource like oil or gas. Okay, valley, mountains. Uh, safe territory, fast to charge, few frost and teams, possible findings, coal. Mountains could find cores. Uh, frozen desert could find food. And plains could find food. I need to find more coal potentially so the expedition is going out cool the community knows we have plenty of money dude we're we're out of heat stamps this is, this is looking bad we won't have plenty of money and we we'll barely have enough sir okay you know what i could deactivate the grinding coal mine to essentially get more resources to have our um because our deposit is full right so we we're gonna just have half shifts happening here so everything is cool right my thing disabled half shift so we're saving resources anyways that's a good thing and then we're gonna be building that's done in a second law proposal new law available survival heat injection Oh, 
we got goods. Oh, didn't I want goods goods productivity to be higher? Because that would solve my problem, actually. Yeah, this is actually good because we just make... This should work. People are divided, but it should work. I shouldn't have to do anything. Fine. Right? Because that, that would reduce how many goods they need straight away. Please pass. Thank you. Um, that, that, that helps how many, how many goods we need. <clears throat> and straight up, we're actually overproducing <laughs> without me having to do anything. It's actually really, really smart. Now we need to just extend our living area a little bit. Let's pond. Two, one, two, three. And then we have enough living space for everyone, hopefully. No, we still don't have enough living space for everyone. That's bad. Can I expand that further? And then we have enough living space for everyone. Still not. What do you want for me? Food is full. That means we need to build a food depot. Our product is good. That is fine. This is good. We can actually make half shifts here too because we have enough food surplus, if you don't believe. And this one is having an empty building slot. <laughs> Our research. Oh, shit. Okay, what's the next research? Advanced good factory, woodworks. Uh, what do we need? We need... Um, logistic gives me more teams to go out to do more things. Advanced hothouses is more, more thingies. Uh, economy, work compensation. Resource production efficiency is increased. Yeah, if people are efficient, they get more money. <laughs> uh, maintenance duty. What does that do? Materials demand is slightly decreased. Oh, that would be great. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. That's it. That's... They focus on relationships somehow. Well, so the thing is, I can have the technocrats hate me, and I can have the foragers hate me. As long as the uh, ice bloods are fine with it, and I can make the machinist happy. So that's a little bit my, my thing there. We need to grant them an agenda for the next time. Uh, and hopefully we can make them happy, and then we just screw the other two factions and don't care. Okay, so what do we have? Technocrats begin protesting. Stuart, the technocrats have been growing skeptical towards. The city is changing in the worst. They demand you to repeal, allow, select outsiders. They will keep protesting until you respect the demands or force them to disperse. They also dislike family apprenticeship, paid essentials, do rebuild goods. Of 20 weeks to keep the promise, the protest won't spread during the time. Others may become agitated by the promise. No, ignore. What I need, though, is something, and that is called disable protest in progress. That's bad. Uh, I need the watchtowers. Didn't I, didn't I say I'm building watchtowers, guys? Shit, we forgot to research watchtowers, right? I wanted that the whole time. Now, now I'm paying the iron price because we didn't research watchtowers. I can uh, put the half shifts on hold. Then we're making plus again. Actually, no. I can put the shifts on hold. And I can activate the coal mine again. <laughs> we're making bonus. Our research was supposed to be society... Watchtowers, and I promised that to the Ice Bloods. That's for Watchtowers. I mean, we just have to make them happy currently. That's the whole plan. If we make them happy, we're fine. I got Industrial, the Refurbishing Good Factory, if I wanted that. The problem is there is a protest going on, so that's useless at this point. Um, We're making surplus in food, surplus in coal. We have the teams forging outside. The problem is that like every resource is endless, so we know that that coal will run out at some point and that coal will run out at some point, so we can't essentially keep on forever, right? Uh, we got 305 absent to sick. That's bad. Shin. Uh... Click on the council members to view their profiles. Ah, you can actually check what they're for. Okay. 
problem is the ice belts are only 12 percent of the city <clears throat> we need to grow the ice belts bigger because supporting them is nice right but it doesn't help when when they can't do shit fun project i kind of want to fund a project for them it would be nice what do we have here disease weakens our workforce yeah we need to do something about disease and that's a huge issue right now I mean, we're at least getting more money, so that's good. Uh, former shipwright longing to join his wife in the beyond. Oh, shit. We have no funeral regulations, too. Could you stop making outrageous demands, like, consistently? No, we're, we're barely we're barely holding it together here, sir. It would be it would be it would be very, very good if you if you just just, you know, Stop asking for things. That would be fantastic. Just stop asking for things. Thank you very much. Gonna get rid of the come on, give me give me this. Okay, new law available. Did I promise someone something? society what do we have funerals shit we could go for funerals but uh, contagion we need welfare right diseases decreased we need something like tension is slightly increased i mean tension is high anyway so let's go Maintenance. Oh, no. We promised something. Unproductive due maintenance. Workers who do not meet their quotas must stay after their shifts to perform machinery infrastructure maintenance. Wow, that's so mean. Super want to do this. <laughs> Super want to do this. Uh, survival. Uh, I mean, funerals. Disease is decreased. Research speed is increased. So I guess. I mean, we're, we're doing funerals where we harvest their body parts, Chad. And we're talking to the machinists and the machinists are getting. Um, the agenda next time. Okay. Did you do more than one research at the time? I don't think that is possible the game available for ps5 i don't actually know if it like where is it coming i know it's on the xbox game pass so i would have had the assumption that it's also coming to console but i'm not certain about this to be honest protests begin collapsing finally that's good the promise to ice blood's cap so ice bloods love me uh we can research prisons no that would be too much i think we should probably go for hospitals or youth. Youth can be... Percentage of active workers is increased. Crime is slightly decreased. Oh, that's nice. Hospitals would go... Disease is decreased. Population growth is increased. Research speed. The technocrats get their research speed and we get the... Yeah. Teaching hospital. They both want the same, so I think we're fine about that. And if they both want the same, that's good. Housing, pe petrol, watchtower. There you go. I mean, they're skeptical, but if we make them a promise to research machine attendant. I could destroy the bio waste drum house easily and just have this work on full shifts and then we make enough food <laughs> 100 iq chan we we solved that this district is not working why is it not working disable protest we, didn't we take care negotiate to end the protest Refuse. Sorry, we can't. We can't do this. Resource deposit is nearly depleted. Are you kidding me? No, why is the protest expanding? This is not good. 
I mean, like, here, the technocrats, they like me now. So, so we're cool. The protest gone. We got it. Okay. Uh, no, no, no guards. No guards. We're good. Okay, total demand. Disabled. Uh, we got the... Finally, we're making goods. We got surplus. We get surplus. We get the shelter. But this one is running out of materials. So we have to find new materials, which would be here. That means we got to start frost breaking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And get the frost breaking out of there. Okay, so everyone is kind of cool and no one is like super mad at me. And we're finally like in the plus here. Save game. Uh, this is good. I mean, I can't actually wait for the for the story because the story mission is where I personally find it gets really interesting, right? Wait, who, who destroyed the... I didn't destroy the thing. Why did that get destroyed? Okay, we can build another district. Extraction district. One, two, three, four, five, six. For now, we make enough material. These guys are out anyways Did, are they are they done foraging oh wow they're done foraging jeez okay uh let's have a look we can set up an outpost there build a trail or railway pass to use the location connect trail okay Why can I not connect it to this? Wait, wait. I don't understand. Why can I? Uh, angry fur just grow more radical. Press their recruitment. Uh, ice boats are effective organization. We should encourage for just to join. Community leaders cannot be allowed to encourage radicalization. Uh, you will have to improve if you fail. Nah, you know what? We get them to join the ice bloods and we make the ice bloods bigger and that's fine, right? Okay, so we got another district. Okay, we can pass a new law and we can do new research. So we get the watchtowers, we get the youth, we get the treatment, we get the hospitals. We got to build the hospital actually, right? Uh, we get the economy, maintenance duty, maintenance hub. That would be raw materials demand in neighboring districts is decreased. They all want the same thing. Oh, interesting. That's kind of fine if everyone kind of wants the same thing, right? That's great, isn't it? Rail hub. Can't build that. Bad. Survival. Um, bonds, goods, factory, steel. Oh, we need the steel foundries for... No, not yet. We don't need that yet. Um, hey, you know what? I'm going to go for maintenance hub. We'll see. I mean, them not need more materials is kind of nice. Okay, and we can pass a new law. But we could use this to have the ice bloods grant agenda. And they would like to ceremonial funerals. Ta da! Everyone is happy. Correct? Now we go to build the, the hospital. Teaching hospital is being built Ta-da as well. Our food is going 
down slightly, but that's perfect because we got half shifts going here. No, we had half shifts going there. Uh, we could actually um, just build a hothouse back. If we want to. Or we could just expand this food district. That's it. One, two, three. And we would make more food. We don't have enough goods, though. But we could build the goods thingy, which I don't want to. And at least our materials is up, so that's nice. We're making a surplus. And we could actually extend into the iron works, so that will work as well. We can do the forger. The forger would be one... Two. Uh, wait, the forger would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the old way station. So that we could connect the old way station to the rails because that's the thing right now. We have this and we have the connect rails. And we could connect that to here later on. Um, the planes could give us food, so we need this. Oh, exploration impossible whiteout in the city. Okay, we need to wait for the whiteout to be done. Oh, Jesus. Why, why does my re generator have suddenly a 1,200 requirement because of the whiteout, right? Coal mine active. When at least we're having, we're having more than enough coal stockpiled, but holy Christ. That ain't good. An expedition group has been called the Whiteout. Ribbon Pepperoni's expedition group. Oh, we don't have enough shelter. Well, that's a bit unlucky for you, huh? Wait, we're gonna... Have to build more housing. Mm, then we have to give these guys the agenda. Okay. Machine adjusted shifts. Workforce requirement is slightly decreased. Hmm. Negotiate. Shit. Yeah, it's against their worldview. This is bad. I mean, I guess I promised them just to put it up for votes. So if it doesn't work, they shouldn't be too mad, right? Right? Sure, surely they shouldn't be too mad. We still need to find a permanent source of fuel outside the city. What's a hub now? Now we have the maintenance hub thing. Hubs are unique type of districts that cover only one tile instead of the standard six. They're used to improve adjacent district in the area of effects such as reducing demand for heat, workforce, or materials. Ah, okay. So we can build a hub. We can build a maintenance hub. Uh, proximity raw material demand in neighboring districts is decreased. So if I build a maintenance hub... Here? Wait. Raw material demand is never in this decreased. So if I like the actual demand that you're using for materials is decreased. Okay, interesting. That makes sense to build in this, so it would essentially take less material. And what does the what does the air transport hub do? Workforce requirements is decreased. Ah, okay. Oh, by the way, that reminds me that I wanted to get to the rail station here. Okay, frost breaking. Uh, we are out of coal. Could the whiteout please stop whiteouting? I mean, I, I literally stockpiled coal like there was no tomorrow. Like, how could we? How could we ever run out? I mean, seriously, I, 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 I perfected this. Okay. Mm. 
Mm, what do you have? Sub sub subsidized housing. Ice bloods want to have dense house block. Yeah. I mean, I get a hospital, so I should be fine with the dense house block. Okay, what can we do? Society. Economy. We don't have contagion prevention yet and maintenance duty. Okay, so unproductive do maintenance. I kind of like this because th this law essentially is an instant, instant vote because everyone likes me. You know? Uh, the UI. The UI is actually pretty good. You know? I still, I'm still unsure how much I like the second part over the first part. I do, I do believe I don't like the endless mode, right? For me, for me, it's mostly I'm just genuinely enjoying the, the actual, like, like if there's an actual. I want to wait for the whiteout to be over. If there's an actual goal to something instead of just keep building, 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 right? Okay, why is our demand going down so much because we're out of material here no we have wood remaining but still i mean these guys are gonna one two three why can't i extract there do i not have this fully unlocked probably don't have this fully unlocked um Gonna build a. I want to build the iron works. That would be better. We have this unlocked, and we increase the size. One, two, three. And then I'm building a. And works. Why does it not work? I'm I'm on the I'm on the iron. I can also not I can only build the sawmill there, it seems. It's like I'm not fully on the iron. Okay, we got housing provided. We have heat not limited because this one is out of coal in a sec that's bad. That's bad because this is just barely making enough coal. I was relying on this for double coal. This is not, I mean, like this is good in the regard of I could, I could build this now, connect a trail to this one if I would have this, but I don't have this yet, but that's why I actually cleared all the way to this way station. So I could on this way station now build a second uh, logistic district. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, why are you getting skeptical? You shouldn't be skeptical. You should be happy about me. I promise to destroy. Nah, sorry, decline their offer. We can't, can't do. Right now, you make 46% of the size and you're 6 and 9%, you know, so you can actually eat my ass. <laughs> I have no interest in you. Unproductive to maintenance. Yep, that is what I absolutely want. Uh, contagion prevention. We could have... When I, do I need to pass laws? No, I don't actually need to pass laws, right? I can, I can be just happy about things going my way. When I could essentially make promises or grant them an agenda. I mean, they wanted, I, I promised them to grant them the agenda and they their vote failed, so it's their own fault. Ryan? Or is more important to you too? Yeah, because there's something to beat. The whiteout has passed. Okay, so the whiteout has passed. That means my dudes can now discover the planes for food. No, we need... What, what do we need? We need... I mean, what do I need course for? That's the thing. We would find a fleet of abandoned such is obviously treated with oil. Okay, planes. Too dangerous to explore now. 
Okay, we're going to be exploring not enough resources. We need to wait until we have more. Ah, we need to expand our logistic district. So we actually do have more resources for that. Okay. So this one is out of coal. So we bump this one. Then this one is out of food. We bump that one. This one is the only source of food production. So it's getting a fire waste thingy. Sorry, lads. I know you didn't want this, but it is what it is. Then this one is being done and we can extend. Hello. I would like to extend you. You don't want to be extended. Okay, you don't want to be extended. That's that's fine. I didn't want to extend you anyways. Okay, housing insulation. Oh, they need more. Let's see. Base heat demand in housing district is decreased. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. I forget that you can research these things, right? So I'm constantly trying to like get more heat together, but I can actually fix the problem otherwise, right? Okay, so we get this one done, the logistic district. And now I can go for the exploration and we do have 20 exploration available, but not only that, I can t connect the trail now to this one. Finally, you should be able Plus, not mad 50. I need 50. Why do I not have, uh, I need to quickly wait. Now I have 300. Why, 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 why do I have 300 suddenly? Aha. So we're getting coal now from here. But the coal deposit is not endless. Okay, so. A broken bow. Bio waste drum hothouse. Relationship worsen with technocrats. I cannot destroy the hothouse because that's our only source of food so you have to deal with this technocrats i'm sorry even if this makes you hostile at least the foragers are now okay with me at this point uh, this deposit is almost depleted yeah but we're making like enough materials right we have a surplus of 500 in materials it's actually insane what the fuck okay we need to uh Dense housing block, so we have more shelter and less heat demand. We got the teaching. We have the good factory, but we don't need this because we get like a nice surplus. Uh, we got more materials up there, but my problem is I need food, right? And we have no more food. It's kind of like scam because if I don't like find like any source of food, we're like screwed. So now I need to send an expedition into the plains for food, correct? If we're not doing that, we're screwed. Okay, uh, what do we have now? We currently have increased by notable cold, increased by technocrats, by minor squalor, by minor disease. But sir, I cannot... I cannot make more heat production because I, I don't have more. I mean, what do you want from me? This is all I can do. I can, I can keep researching you <clears throat> needing less things for me, right? I mean, they need 90 heat. <clears throat> this needs 70 heat. So what if I build a dense housing block? What happens if I build a dense housing block, I would get 20 more, correct? And a whole thing is 20. So if I now demolish this district, I'm going to save 70 heed that I formerly needed, right? And we're fine. Oh, well, they're going to start protesting again. Stop it. Can't have this happening. 
How about we fund one of your projects for 30 heat stems so you shut your faces? That'd be great. Then we have a law coming towards... Contagion prevention. I mean, the problem with contagion prevention, it would be disease... <laughs> it would be infection badge. That people were getting badges against infections, which I'm totally for. I mean, if you're infected, you get a badge and then you get you get sequences out. But the problem is that's kind of like not cool. <laughs> Technocrats begin protesting. Um, ignore for now. Oh no, shit! I can't. I can't actually ignore them. Shit! They're they're shutting down our food production. We can't. We can't ignore them. Yikes. Uh, we need them to be uh, we could fund a project. We could grant an agenda next time. And we could fund one of their project. So they stop being super mad at us. And I'm wondering how long will it take for our for our coal to arrive? Oh, we haven't we haven't constructed the thing yet. Oh my goodness, that is so dumb. I thought we had but the thing constructed. Let's have a look. Harvest. Okay, so we're harvesting this. We need more discovery stuff. I mean, we got more than enough material. Why? Why are we having such a surplus of materials? That's crazy. That means we can turn uh, we can turn this one to half shift, right? And we can turn the. Oh, I built two sawmills here, huh? That's why we're having so much, guys. I built two goddamn sawmills. No wonder. Things were getting out of hand. Huh? We're like wondering what's what's going on there. Okay, we got a housing block. Workers housing. That would be more shelter, housing distribution. Heat stem income per capita is increased. Shelter available is significantly increased. That would actually be really good. But what do we have? We had maintenance hub, housing, society. I mean, screw society, right? Treatment is disease decrease. I mean, the technocrats would be happy if I researched this because that would make people better. I think we kind of need prison at this point. Uh, I need logistic base to have more Frostland team output. Ryan automatic logistic yeah so they're gonna be happy if I build automatic so we kind of gotta get them on our side I mean I felt like maybe I should ignore one one team completely but I guess that's not the wave right we can't just ignore things completely uh the district is not working I mean the problem is I can't I can't stop you from protesting at this point can we make a promise Promise to research machine to destroy dense house blocking. Promise to pass machine adjusted. I can't make any promise to you. You're you're you're, you're you want shit. I hate you. I hope you all die. But it would be nice if you stop protesting because really this is kind of bad. <laughs> you know, it would be it would be. Oh my playthrough will time out in fifty weeks. We're almost we're almost done, Chan. Right. Almost have this. Okay, my total output is higher on the... I feel like I should make a playthrough where I get these things earlier. Because right now, this is like really nice. You get a consistent food. You get consistent things. So, definitely makes life a bit easier to get these things early. Right? With, without having to do much for it. Because that's the thing. I, I just get this. Fine. Okay, badge of shame. Oh, sorry. What happened? Oh, we're finally up. Ladies and gentlemen, we're finally up in our output again. Holy Christ. Things are not terrible. Okay, we got the coal mine, coal mining in. We get our materials materialing. Our resource depot is full. 
they not stop working if the depot is full? No, they don't. Shut down completely. That should reduce our heat demand as well, right? Then we can research scout training, railway. Oh, what's railways? Unlock railroad connections can be built in the frost and allowing to ship more resources from colonies and outposts. Yeah, that's great. I mean, you could research this the whole time, huh? Harvester hangers. So make sure every last bit of food extracted. Oh, that's that's so useful, right? I mean, the advanced hothouses are useless. I, I feel like I waste my research on like stupid things that I don't need, right? Because you have like you have like things here that make life so much easier, like charcoal pans, right? They were uh, that uses a mix of wood combustion and nitro to produce a coal substitute. This makes coal output generally like very high, right? Hmm. We need the scout training was for exploration costs decreased. When harvester hangers, so we just harvest better. La, 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 I feel like if we would go for this, it would be working better. Clip adding thing with the 15 months of support. Howdy. I mean, we're we're kind of good. I, it would be nice to actually end their pro protest somehow, but grand agenda. No, I can't do anything to, for the protests here. Negotiate to, with the process. Quell protests in district. Yep. We do force. John, we do it by force. And we build another lateral watchtower. I build another one. I thought I could. I would technically have to increase this to build another Patra Watchtower, I see. Okay, I'll handle it. The pros. And let's end this protest by force as well. Okay. <laughs> they don't listen. We'll do it by force, chat. Because by force is always better. Right? Then we can pass another economy law. What do they want? Infection badge. No contagion prevention. Okay. They, like, everyone is fine with this, kind of? I mean, there's only, like, 12 technocrats against it and 5 machinists. Everyone else kind of, like, cool. But as far as point 2, feel, it feels good. But I would wish for the story mode to be there, you know, I would, I would really like, like, so, so the beta does not have the story mode and I'm definitely missing that. I'll have to say. We did not have any coal surplus. That's a bit bad. So everyone needs to freeze for a bit. <laughs> everyone needs to freeze for a bit. Logistics. Okay. We get clean. Harvester hanger. So we're harvesting efficiency is increased. Plus 10 in Frostland team. That's grain. That's automatic logistic base. That's harvesting increased. I feel like getting this up early in the beginning could solve a lot of problems. Kind of would like to try that out. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take these guys and we're going to give them an agenda. So they could vote for something, and if it doesn't work, they can't the be happy in. about it. I played this game, but a friend of mine is looking forward to the new one. Is this the new one? Yes, this is number two. And number two is quite fun, I have to say. I'm enjoying myself. Radicalization. Please do not burn in hell. That would be nice. Uh, let's turn the district back on, because we had the district turned off. Because we're making so much surplus of materials, it was crazy. And then we can turn on the wood wood sawmill thingy too and we can turn this one up too oh we're still not making enough what's happening why is every everything burning down uh prioritize housing heating resource production significant prioritize workplace heating 
Yeah. How's how's he doing? Oh, we are so out of. What's happening? Did I win? Is it over? I think we hit the 300 weeks because you can only do week 300, right? That's when that's when the simulation ends. So that was our 300 weeks in the first uh, time or in the first part. But uh, there is the other three biodomes, the other three areas. So we got Windswept Peak, we have Broken Shore. Ah, no, we can only do Windswept Peak, actually. I thought we could do the others. That's kind of sad. So we could do this on a harder difficulty now. But before I do this, what I'd rather work out is what if we go instantly for the discovery? Okay, Chad. So let's try another round because this is the beauty about the game, like how varied it is, right? What are all the things we could do? So what do, what do we go for a harder? And what do we go for the same playthrough? But this time we'd focus on two things we're going to do. So we're going to unlock the coal deposit, which is obvious, right? So we frost break one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, but then we will essentially frost break our way. Okay. We're frost breaking our way all the way there. Frost break our way. We frost break everything, ladies and gentlemen. Good, frost broken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. Um, let me go to the next action district. We can build a action district. And we can build housing district. And housing district would move a bit closer to the food district because they can share heat. That would work. With heat production coming now, right? Build a housing district. We need to build this. Then we need to. On this housing district, is a material district, and that would increase by oh no, and then we would straight up start building the. We can't actually build the the district I want to, huh? I can't actually do what I wanted to. It's sad. Uh, we need to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to unlock that as well. Okay, so now we can build the research institute. What we're asked for. Research institute is being built. They are... They want to have a future stockpile, but we can't build this right now because we need to keep our money close at hand. They're overproducing, so that's fine. They're downproducing food, but we get a lot of stockpiles, so we don't care. We got to let the stockpile run empty first. Uh, different ideas. So we get the idea tree and we're gonna build the coal mine first and we're gonna build the um, The one that does Cost me less materials Which then is here. They want should we can't promise them anything right now good way That was my plan. You know, we would actually promise them like the respective coal mine. They're looking for but we can't uh, We could straight up build the goods thingy, but that would and I'm not sure if that's the way to go because if I straight up build like the industri uh, industrial district here, that would make 20 goods and it wouldn't be enough anyways. And we could just solve the good demand a little bit, not like completely. Um, what we could do though is workforce shared, workforce shared, workforce shared, workforce shared. We could build this. Because if, now I'm, if I'm now expanding this, one, two, three. So that would work. I mean, for this, we would need to... Clear these deposits. And we are going to build the navigation district as soon as we can. 
Okay. So we're trying to... There's another... There's another logistic spot. Top... Oh, there is actually another logistic spot up there. Let me just see that for the first time. Should have actually built in that direction. That would have been smarter. Well, things happen. Sometimes you make the wrong decision. One, two, three. To have everyone have housing. And the research is done. So we can actually build a coal mine. And we have to expand the district so we can make the deposit soon. And we can now research. What houses is useless? Economy. Rail hub can't be. Housing block could be. Society. Hospitals. Uh, we should actually go for the watchtowers probably early on. Um, why can I not research this one early? We need housing block, and then we reduce the heat requirements. We do the housing block in the beginning. I'm gonna focus on that one, you know, more construction, these things. Okay, now we need the council. We can build the council. Ta-ta, you're gonna get that. We have enough living space. Actually, we are still lacking living spaces. Actually crazy to me. And we need to build a food district because we're slowly running out. We need more council gathered for the first time. Mm, we can make a promise. Promise to build a <clears throat> untreated sawmill. We need the council to be active. Open the session. And we're going to go for society. Was it childhood workers? No, they don't do much for us. We need straight away more heat stamps. We're going to actually let them vote without trying to sway anyone with promises or something. Because, like, we're we're just going to see what happens here right now. If, like, you know, if people are people are uncool, like, this is this is giving me more heat stamps in the beginning. And we actually do need this. Because without the heat stamps, it's kind of going to be like, eh, we can't build shit, right? We want to build the logistic districts, but we can't. Let's get that done first, like very first is the first thing possible. Two, three, four, five, six. So that's good. Because then we can start sending out the frost teams. And we get coal like this. It's my secret plan currently. How would I get coal? We're overproducing hard. We could introduce half shifts. That would actually save us the material production. And currently what we're missing is... One, two, three. <laughs> Now we can scour the frost lands and we could essentially go down here, for example, or to the valley, right? The valley would be coal, so we're going sending our expedition there straight away. It's gonna be good because we, we got this. Right. Stockpiles depleted. Our food stockpiles are almost empty, yeah. I was I was wanting to fix this, trust me. One, two, three, four, five, because they're sharing heat, right? So that's a good thing. Then we can pass another law and that would be for childhood workers. Oh no, sorry. Uh, that would be for... Food output per capita slightly increase. So we have We're going to have more food production easily, right? The eyes have it. Done. That's good. Now our food production is going to go up. We can research housing insulation. So that would essentially be then straight up less. Oh, wait. We actually promised research for survival. Let's wait for 100. Okay. Promise someone research promised a sawmill we do actually need a sawmill too 
Which sawmill did we promise? The foragers. Okay, yeah. You can get your sawmill. It costs less because we promised it to them. Interesting. That's actually cool. So, valley expedition. Time left 10 weeks. Two days. Yeah. This is a bit different in the gameplay department, but it's still working quite nice and well. Uh, we have too few food, but we could technically raise the output, right? One, two, three. So that's more food output. People are just unhappy. I could make a housing block if I wanted to. And that would mean we're taking less. We have more space. But four less heat. So we can easier get more coal. It's great. We're running out of materials. That's bad. And we can now vote for... Wait, can I, can I make people like me more? I can grant the machinist. Now I'm going to grant the fortress an agenda. And they would want to vote for expedition support. Yeah, that's perfect. I want that too. Now I want my expedition to support it as well. So let's go. When I want everyone to do their best so our expeditions work better. Right? So that's a nice one. Feral children. Commit to solving the issue. Yes, we're going to have children work coming, Chan. So now my sawmill is going to get done. Five children died in the rumble. These things happen. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? You know? Okay, finished, ladies and gentlemen. We got this finished, but we know that there is oil here. So we are going to have a look. Connect the trail. And ta-da. We can do this, right? Then we can build a outpost. Ta-da! Now we would like to send our lads out to the plains. But we don't have enough resources yet. We need to wait until we get back to 10. But at least we have a permanent coal output now. <laughs> that solution has been made. And we need to research our... Logistic base was what? We get more Frostland team output. Construction cost is almost for free because they actually do want this right now. They want more, more, more Frostland output, right? And currently we're just barely, uh, we're, we're just trying to survive here without much effort, right? I, mean, I don't want to put too much effort into the survival it's just barely enough effort into the survival uh to be happy the outsiders will set rules for entry the machinists are skeptical that's bad but they're actually supporting that means society childhood we want childhood workers thank you very much and we hope that you vote for us because most people are like supportive so this should actually work out how does this compare to frostpunk one uh it's more the the whole law thing is a bit more complicated the city building and resource gathering is a bit simpler because what you're essentially doing is you are just building these ginormous districts and then you're taking care of the districts i have to say i feel a little bit constrained by the money um, and a little bit too much, if I'm honest with you. It's it feels like a bit, a bit bad. Like I'm always just struggling to find a few more cents, so so I could actually just exist and and play the game. Um, it's definitely something I'm not so happy with. Like right, it might be just the endless scenario here, but I'm currently like I'm I'm really scrambling for the heat stems at any corner. Uh, ice bloods form support. Oh, we are getting the ice bloods now, but they are straight up supportive of my cause. That's actually a good thing. 
so we are working like this is great having two factions that are straight uh favorable towards you it's kind of nice i mean we have un unhappy people it's a bit bad but in order to get them happier i would have to extend the one two three four five six seven eight have to straight up build another can i build another protection i mean i have 76 plus so i should be able to problem is i need to do the next research there's a scout training scout training is for free currently that's perfect because everyone wants this yep perfection and we can now have to wait for when we get automatic logistic base that would be great but we need to wait for our heat stems again to fill up right I, I cannot build anything right now i need to literally wait they're they're okay no one is too mad at the ice bloods cutthroat economy allocate allowance nope sorry boys i need to have let you cook economy outsiders and we want the outsiders to come in and everyone is going to vote for that i don't even have to try because the Al ice bloods are for me so this is going to provide me with more heat stems straight away that's very important because we need the heat stem production to be up it's currently only at 16 which is a bit bad and we can make another food district which is one two three four five six and they share heat that's good because our heat production is you know we we're producing more coal than actually needed because we got the illegal coal import it's like the cool thing right we get the illegal coal import from here which actually solves a lot of issues and right now I want to go to the plains, but I'm currently waiting to get my research back. So we get a bonus coal mine set up, which is not infinite, but it's essentially helping us. We get the food under control. We get the common goods under control. And I get a, I can pass a law for this to make sure that we're not having problems. Now we have the shelter problem going on. And we get another research and what i was looking for is now we get the railways generator upgrade autonomous heater i was looking for economy house house insulation so that means our the the, the people just suddenly need less heat done it's actually the best solution or the easiest solution and then we could go for more housing blocks and again like do you see how we constantly need heat stamps constantly like they're it's like we we have no we have no choice right okay the ice bloods promise to research dutiful youth that would be promise to research merit-based housing uh we can do merit-based housing that's that's going to improve productivity it's actually a very good thingy because this merit-based housing is is kind of uh here pathfinder scouts situation cross is decreased perfect everyone wants this don't even have to do anything moonshine pleasure what happened to the technocrats they're not there yet um the factions join over time and the technocrats simply haven't joined yet in i uh, hear technocrats have formed an opposition to the ice bloods there they are they're opposing us they want school quarantine city development efforts i can somehow make them happy but right now i have like three factions actually supporting me so i don't even have to try in any way when we could check for the machinist they won pathfinder scout no no shit fuck i didn't bad bad shit i didn't want this <sighs> Takes remain when am i gonna get the next frostland teams that's what i'm wondering do i have to expand this to get more frostland teams It's really nice to watch a streamer that actually tries to understand the game just jumping around the screen and complaining that he doesn't understand it immediately well Hafnar, you know you know me i'm, I'm trying to learn things in and out right and i try to try to really understand games and not just play them uh let's reduce half shifts so so really understand games from from like all angles and scenarios and that that does help a lot uh, relax the laws. No, keep a strict selection. 
because I need my heat stems. Without my heat stems, I'm screwed. Survival. No, what I want right now is very simple. I want economy. And that is then for community service. And I want you to make... demand is slightly decreased it's actually a very good one and it should go through negotiate with the foragers and you can i can fund one of your projects yep that's simple hopefully they don't want too much money it's an easy funding so this one decreases the demand for heat and we have a white out coming so with this law, is things are a bit easier, and I promised the foragers to fund one of their projects, right? So we're gonna go fund the project. They want 216 heat stamps? Oh, fuck you. Ignore the technocrats for now. <sighs> I mean, I could fund a minor project of you. I could... Found agenda on the next thingy. And then we could... Not help you right now. Food production is down. That's a bit bad because I don't have any stockpile of food. I mean, we're, we're trying to send my workers out, but I'm currently... I need to have more, more workable things. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, two to introduce this. Uh, but we also have ten frostland teams more. Boop. We built this. That's more frostland teams. Mm, we can one, two, three, increase the size of this. Because we have enough material output to actually do that. They're not mad at me anymore, so I should be able to stop the protest, hopefully. Protest begins collapsing. Finally, we actually made them happy. So that's good. Nice. Uh, worker housing, housing distribution. That was for uh, heat stamp shelter available is significantly increased. Yeah, we wanted, we wanted to give them what they wanted. Our food is up again, ladies and gentlemen. So this, since the protest is over, our food is up again. Ongoing protests are fixed. And we get 10 more to launch the expedition to the plains that we can establish another source of food there. I mean, yes, the whiteout is coming and that's going to actually destroy my team of people. That we, Like my team of people were just about to get in. We get many sick. That's a problem. Except all outsiders. I mean, let's just vote. Let's see what happens. Nothing I have in my hand here right now. I promised agenda to the people. So, ah, oh, how unfortunate. That's so sad. So, sorry that I don't give a damn. <laughs> so I got the city trust chat, but I need to make sure that the others are also going with this. Mm, we got the food surplus. We, we're lacking housing. Oh, lacking housing is not good. I mean, I do have an. I could, we. I mean, we could build another housing block, I guess. I mean, the housing blocks—they're like they're providing shelter, and at the same time, they don't cost much heat. So this is like the easiest way for me to actually provide housing without issues. And with issues, I mean anyone taking offense in any singular way. And I still need to... The problem is that a whole housing district takes 40 heat, right? That's quite some. Uh, we can actually turn the coal mine off right now. Because we've been overproducing. We can turn this off. We can turn this on when we need it, right? Relationship with machinists worse than trust failed. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of sorry. Like, I really wanted to help you, but I couldn't. So what I could do, though, is I could grant you agenda. 
And then let's see, what do you want? Do you want city development efforts? We all want city development efforts. Let's see if that works. SimCity type of game. It's about surviving, surviving in the cold. So you have essentially here the cold going on, warmer weather, colder weather. That goes down then in terms of uh, coal availability. At the same time, you have limited resources. Like there's only that much coal available as there's only um, that, that many things around you working out, right? Let's have a look and harvest. So we get a food ration bunker going on. That's fantastic, which cost me five. And we have more Frostland teams that we can't send out now. It's a bit of a bummer. Bummer. One, two, three. We can expand this for more Frostland teams. Um. So yeah, and you gotta you gotta keep make sure to keep up with the demands of your people. So they're they're good demand. They're like the material surplus, the food surplus, the shelter, and the heat. Especially the heat is really tricky to often you know take stock off and and uh, make sure that. It doesn't get out of control. So that can be quite quite something. And then you will can send your teams out to essentially do some some exploration and everything. When we get the white out currently happening or soon to soon soon happening. And that's the that's the big white out. The white out is essentially gonna be wiping everything from the phase of Earth, more or less. I want to send out my team here right now. The glacier would be coal and materials. That would be nice, but the launch expedition for Frostland dwellers and coal. Okay, we're launching an expedition. Hopefully, we can do that before the whiteout comes. Can you attack other factions? No. Uh, attacking and anything has no, no merit. Nothing is there. There's no fighting. There's no, there's no war or anything. It's a very, I mean, you're fighting the environment. Like you have to understand. So humanity brink of the collapse, right? We are essentially like, like we, we're, we're fighting, we're fighting for survival in the world. That's already enough. Okay. We could do worker housing. That would be giving us efficiency increase. Maintenance duty was material demand is slightly decreased resource. Yeah. Yeah. This was actually really important. We could do this for the machinist. That should be nice. We don't need a productivity increase. Our productivity is actually fine at this point. And we're getting another 12 people. We can actually get even more. Shit, I wouldn't... I need more workforce. How do I not have enough workforce? That's crazy. Uh, but we got another 12 to send out to the crevasse fields. Mm, to the mountains. No, we need 32. The planes, we could launch an expedition for course, but what, I don't think course is useful at this point. That's my problem because they are saying for course, but what am I going to do with course, right? I have nothing to do with that. We need to build a hospital. The next research needs to be hospital. Okay, so promise to forge is broken. Relations to forge is trust false. Merit-based housing is what I promised. Uh, 53 hesitant delegates, 30 of the machinist delegates, 23 of the foragers. Yeah, the foragers are never going to vote for me. The machinists are going to vote for me. So I could negotiate with a machinist and I could fund one of their projects. And that would be the easiest way to get this through. This or Mana Lords. Oh, two complete different games. Mana Lords does not have a story per se. So Mana Lords is always going to be just this sandboxy kind of thing where this game actually has a very good story to play through. Just generally pledge to build moss filtration tower. Sure, we can get this in the long run, but not right now. So so it's a general thing of, mm, yeah, do you want to play through a story or not? Like ask that. Okay, hospitals. We're going to build a hospital. And they want a recovery hospital, teaching hospital or recovery hospital. I'd be fine with a teaching hospital. I would actually really like that. We don't have money. Wait, wait, don't, why don't I? Oh, I don't have money for this right now. I can't actually do. Okay, we got housing. We got the moss filtration tower. 
I don't have the workforce for this. No, I do suddenly have the workforce for this. What happened? We need to expand this. One, two, three. And we need to wait for the expansion to be done. We're building a moss filtration tower. Done. And we're going to expand this further. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, our goods are going down. Our materials are full. That's an interesting one. It means I can disable the wood sawmill for now. I can expand this one, two, three right now. We're still making more food. The whiteout is coming closer. That's bad. Shit, we only have 17. No, I am so close to having things good, but I only have 17 to send them out. The problem is I would need, uh, no, 16, I need 16 for this. Yes, let's go. Done. Okay. How's the town going? Actually, very good. We can turn this one back on again. We're going to finally use up all our materials, so we can actually turn this one back on again. Then we can go for the research. And what did I promise? Uh, hospitals. Yes, I wanted hospital and I wanted a teaching hospital. Because if I get a teaching hospital, the technocrats are going to be happy. I can make a promise and... Refuse. <laughs> Refuse anything they want because I hate them. Oh, I need to fund the Machinist project. I promised them a funding and I don't have the money. Shit. Like you notice how expensive things are in general, right? So fund a project. So here, have that. Oh, I got the planes, ladies and gentlemen. Lonely planes. Uh, we come across a group of machinists attempting to settle. They will have good addition to the workforce, but may not be welcomed by everyone. Need to go for the valley further. No, not, not for the valley. Uh, I'll come back later. Sorry, we don't need you right now. Not like that we don't care, but we really don't need you currently in the state of things are. Like our city's fine. Okay, there's one thing I want to pass and I hope I can finally pass something because uh, like goddamn council is in recess. Yeah, I want to wanna, like do something. Oh God, how, how are we, how are we not making enough? Wait, wait a second, holy. We've been, we've been making enough coal the whole time. How are we not making enough coal suddenly? Uncool. Did my, did my outside coal deposit run out? Oh, it's slowly running out. That's going to be a problem as soon as that runs out. Then we're kind of like big time screwed, to be honest. Okay, step number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you very much. Uh, we get the hospitals done. Economy would be... Survival. Out headquarters. Waste management facilities. What do they do? Oh, they have material output. Interesting. But I don't need this. Uh, I would need... Worker shifts. Heat demand is decreased. Resource product efficiency is slightly decreased. But if heat demand is decreased, that would be great, right? Yeah. Let's get that out. Because less heat, better things. And I want to pass a law currently for better product production because that would fix this. So I don't have to take care of this. But yeah. But first, let me take a selfie. And now we need to take care of, of things like not hitting the fan. Okay, loss, economy, um, maintenance duty, that would be material demand. No, 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 I want... Contagion, basic, no, I want... 
here. Uh, because there is good productivity is significantly increased or good demand per capita is marginally decreased. And that is actually really good. That should actually work nicely in my favor. Because now if they vote for this, right, then they all just need less goods and I'm instantly positive on goods without having to try, you know? So that's always my, my sneaky... My sneaky solution to this, instead of making more, just have the things work in our favor, right? Okay, we're suddenly taking so much more, it's crazy. Waste heat conversion. Heat output is increasingly per expanded extraction district. Wait. Resource production is heat output is extremely increased. And we heat reinjection. Okay, we got heat production here. And they're gonna get a I like workforce to build. That's bad. Because I really need workforce now for this. Because if I don't have workforce, we're significantly screwed. So how am I gonna get workforce if 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 uh yeah. That's bad. You like work for I would like workforce for everything. Huh. I mean I could shut down the shut down the whole thingy put a coal mine in there and then um, some bugs here right i'm trying to select this but i can't actually select this right now so i can't interact with that building uh enable this but disable that Okay, we can research Apex worker. Heat demand is, in, is decreased. We're going to Apex workers again. Always end up with Apex workers. Okay, finally, we have the money, though, to build whatever we want. We cannot send out people right now because the whiteout is blocking everything. Workforce in the city is limited. Technocrats demand vote on heat ejection. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm doing that right now. Apex workers continue, but allow discontent. That's fine. No, no one likes when I go for that. Death due to cold. That's unfortunate. I mean, with unfortunate, I mean, I really would like to fix this, but I can't because how am I going to? How am I going to help you? How am I going to make this work? I mean, the only thing what we could do is we could turn turn this off, this whole district, to save some of the heat, right? I mean, we could turn this completely off too, and we could turn this completely off too, because we don't need any of these right now, just to help with uh, some heat preservation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven so we can expand this here a little bit so allow me to one two three what i could do is i could build and this is a bit of an extreme effort but i could build another coal mine so this one is soon gonna run out right technocrat investigate the Blasting coal mine. Sure. We can discover that. Greatly increased by severe disease. Didn't I build a hospital? I never build a hospital, right? I researched I researched hospital, but I never actually build it. Okay, survival, they want uh economy. 
No maintenance duty. Material demand is slightly decreased. Let's see what happens. So let's see what happens when we vote for this without like going for any kind of, uh, we force the people. I just say like, do they actually want to vote for this? This no, no, they don't want to. Can you walk uh, like an anno through the cities? No, there is no way to do that. The whiteout has passed. So now that the whiteout has passed, you're gonna reactivate this. You're gonna reactivate that. Why can I not reactivate this? Reactivate? Hello? Is this not activated again? Building and working? Yeah, I can't, I can't for some reason get the logistic bay turned on. That's weird. I don't think I have enough workers. Oh, because I don't have enough materials. Wait, where's my where's all my workforce i need to disable the coal mine here because we're actually having too much coal at this point to disable the coal mine here and we have enough workforce again I need to turn this on and turn that on and we have still many sick absentees Okay, mountains, that. So we have this. Let's have a look. Another frozen hunting ground. Carry on. Too dangerous. That would be another coal. That would be coarse. We don't have the workforce for this. Uh, take the resources. Thank you very much. Coarse. Exactly, coarse. So... Cores are pivotal components of machinery from the era preceding the Great Frost. They're essentially in upgrading and generating and constructing advanced buildings. Yeah, see, but that's the thing. We can't do that in the campaign here right now. It's a bit of a scam, right? Because you would be expecting to be able to take care of this, but you can't. By the way, this is the first time I've ever been having workforce issues. I've actually never had workforce issues before. You know what's missing? Child labor. We're totally going to force this. Machinist, I'm going to be funding one of your projects. You vote, vote for me. We're getting the Apex workers through, guys. Because the Apex workers then have less heat demand as well, which is very good. So now suddenly everyone is voting for this. So Apex workers says less heat demand. That means we're overproducing easily. We can do half workforce here and we're still overproducing significantly. Uh, we could even go for half workforce. Nope, that we can't actually go for half workforce there. No, that wouldn't work. But suddenly we are overproducing everywhere. We can actually go for half workforce. Nope, not half workforce. Not half workforce. Nope, that wouldn't work. But we get everything reactivated, I think. Valley exploration finished. Have a look. We can harvest more food. Look at me, Chan. We got out, we got all our food demands taken care of easily without even trying. That means we can actually turn down the food production here. I think I could completely have the amount of workers. I mean, we got one hospital to make people healthy again, right? It's slightly working. Then we could research. Harvester hangers would increase the harvesting efficiency. That's that. Uh, I mean, generator upgrade we can't do. We can do treatment here. We, we reduce the... We reduce the illness even further to get our workforce back because our workforce is significantly reduced and that's bad. Ignore for now. 
Sorry, technocrats, that you're protesting, but what do you want me to do? I can fund one of your projects. Here's some money. You know, here's some money as well. You're, you're happy now? Like, you're cool? Like, I funded one of your projects. Can we all be fine? Negotiate to end the pro protest? Repeal merit-based housing? No, we can't do this. Sorry. Sorry, lads, if you're angry, but uh, grand agenda here. You can have agenda the next time. Right? Okay, so we are getting the sick people. Wow, we, we finally get everyone healthy again. That's crazy. How did that happen? Pharmaceuticals. Oh, wow. Research speed, change focus ability, which could increase research speed rate of reduces lapse effects and disease. Interesting. We like so many things here. Advanced coal mines. No, I didn't want to have it, but problem is if I don't research advanced coal mines, people are going to be mad at me again. You know, they're hostile right now here. You're getting your advanced coal mines research. I hope you're happy. No, so you stop protesting and being like a nuisance to me. I need to wait. Disable lack of required deposit. No, no, this is bad. We were, we were, we forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of forget that part where this one will break at some point. Luckily, I do believe we have some material stockpiled, so that's good. Right? And that helps that I can now build another extraction hut. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> done easily without a problem and then we're going to get that thing a little sawmill and you are also out of coal very soon huh when I mean, we have the workforce right now so i'm guess i'm going to boost the coal production into oblivion amend the law Okay, yeah, that's cool. We can actually get merit-based housing away because that's going to solve a lot of the issues. We're going to grant you agenda. Hopefully they will improve. Resource deposit nearly depleted. We get 25 for discovery, so we could send them out to the planes. That's aid. Actually cancel that one. Because that's bad. Frozen desert, mountains, crevasse fields, glacier. That's coal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're voting for standard scouts. Are you playing No Rest for the Wicked on Friday? Yes, I will for sure play No Rest for the Wicked. Um, I think I like, I mean, uh, on the, on Thursday, we could probably play already. So I'm hoping to get access on Thursday on the ATNs already. Uh, Apex trials, Apex workers, Stuart, when workplace employ questionable methods of recruiting new workers. Uh, Apex workers law decreases heat demand more people might die occasionally. Yep. <laughs> I mean, what, what, but you know, like. It's okay. Yeah? Listen. I mean, occasional dead workers is, is like, they're their worst things. Yeah, people die. Exactly. Like, it happens. What do you want from me? Disabled due to protest? Quell protest. Negotiate? Uh, repeal. I can't repeal Apex workers. I'm sorry. I can literally not repeal that. It's impossible to me. You don't like my Apex workers. That's that's a you issue. You know? Okay, I think now with the technocrats uh being in business again. Wait, did I just disable this? I thought I enabled it. Are you now working or not working? Like, I want to see you're working. You're working. What 
We're actually about to d d discover the glacier and now we don't have enough to do that. This is bad. This district is not working. I mean, now it's working. <sighs> Sorry. Sometimes you're unsure what's happening. Okay, we got the material surplus is actually not surplusing, huh? Well, one, two, three. Let's get the surplus surplusing. The problem is soon our... Wait, are you now disabled? Not dis No, you're working and the coal mine is active. Our heat demand is shitty. I hate this. Let's see. Can I, can I work on the heat demand and prove them? Worker housing, which would increase the efficiency. And then what we need to do is, I mean, first and foremost, we still don't have enough housing. So we need to build a housing. We can't build a housing block. We need to expand this by another one, two, three. Uh, then we need to actually build a, what was it called again? We just researched something, a blasting coal mine. That I for some reason can't put in here. Why can I not put a second coal mine in here? Like I have another empty building slot, right? And I cannot. Oh, that's not that because that's not what I was looking for. I'm an idiot. Uh, I need to put the blasting coal mine up here on the coal deposit. And we're voting for, ladies and gentlemen. Experimental treatment. This makes people very healthy, but I need to negotiate for this to work. I'm going to promise to fund one of your projects. It's actually sad that with promising to fund one of the projects, I can I can easily sway things already, right? I mean, you, you can literally like, as soon as you reach the point of money, money just buys voices, right? So much micromanagement. Yes, there is. There is a lot going on. I mean, I promised to fund projects of the machinist. Right? Yeah. Good. So this coal mine is going to run dry any second now, and then we're screwed. But this coal mine is now making insane amounts of coal, so that's kind of cool. I mean, we're... Oh, yeah, I'm, I was wrong. There, there's, a, there's a temperature minus. Storm hits the city. We're screwed. I... That's bad. So storm sitting the city is, is always... Ah. Uh. Okay, so food deposit is still remaining, but food deposit here is almost out. Uh, our food, though, is, like, very heavily overproducing, so that's nice. I mean, we got half shifts anyways going on. And half shifts in the other food district, too. And the 300 weeks are over again. Okay, this one was way easier. Like almost stupid easy. As soon as you're like going for the exploration, because the, the exploration is a bit cheat code, right? Game stops after 300 weeks. The beta stops after 300 weeks. Uh, this is this is simply the beta Haruna. It has a story mode that I'm excited for. You have the builder preview. So this is what we're doing. Essentially, you have like your levels you can you can do in this one. But this is like the, the beta right now that you pay 75 bucks for to be part of. But you also get so so the beta is a little like the, the 75 bucks are a bit more. So you're getting if you pay the deluxe edition, you get uh, to the builder preview, the sandbox mode, you get the three DLCs that are coming to the game. Uh, play the story mode 72 hours before release and then exclusive in-game item uh you get a digital art book and soundtrack so it's not it's not really worth it <laughs> but if you just want to play the game like just watch a video if you do actually like the game so so you you know you can you can watch a video and be like hmm, this looks interesting or this looks bad right you can literally decide uh but yeah um then the, the i mean like i don't even know does does wicked have a beta too wicked and the rest of the wicked do, do they have any deluxe edition Things as well. I think they have, right? You can't you can't even pre-order the game at this point. Good. 
Um, but I would say that we're gonna like move away from Frostpunk here. So that was Frostpunk 2. So thank you, YouTube, for watching. We're gonna turn you off there. And we're gonna actually go play a different game. So shout out to everyone that has watched so far.